I don't tell a girl to shut up because that's rude. I just go bop, bop, bop. That's interesting. Yeah. Because I feel like I started. Bop, 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 bop. I feel like I started bop, bop, bop. If you hit the table again, I will fight you. What happens? You're redoing everything here. Get a new table. I know. We're. Do the people know what's happening outside? We're going to have an L-shaped table with rollers on the bottom that lock. Yeah. So people can come in and out because okay. I stress out when people that uh, are not anorexic like me come in and can't fit. Right. Okay. We can move it, move the cameras. Um, Hi, Wit. Bop, bop, bop. I did when I took too much NyQuil mm. uh, and went out and peed in the yard in a full blazer. Okay. Full work blazer. Work blazer. Uh, after uh, performing at the comedy store, full polyp. Poundstone Blazer. Yikes. Uh, predator. Peeing. <laughs> predator. Paula Poundstone. Was she? The, yeah, she was a predator. Of? Pussy. I think she was, she she, she uh, took the pussy. Oh, really? 100%, yeah. I don't think, I don't know enough about her. Poundstone. That's an unfortunate last name. Yeah. I mean, Cummings, I, I think I win that one. You might. I might, I might. I love playing old songs we haven't heard. Wasn't she accused of something, Paula Poundstone? Was she? I, don't I know. thought she was. No. The shoulder pads? How would you manage to even, <laughs> like, how do you rape someone with those shoulder pads? <laughs> it's a hard, I guess you could. She was, right? You could. What was it, Mark? Lewd, uh, lewd act with a girl under 14. Oh, my God. All of your friends. Not right? a family member? All of your friends. These are, I don't know her. I've ne <laughs> have never met her. How old do you think I am, bitch? How old do you uh, think I am? I think I'm older than you. I'm 38. I mean, I'm. let's be honest. I've been 66 for 20 years. Yeah. Peptides. Peptides. Um, I like playing old songs. <laughs> yeah. And seeing what it does to people. Okay. And seeing what emotions come up. Okay. This is like my shit. Okay. Um, I love it. I love it. But were you a 90s? You were 90s New York. I'm 37. So when 90s, you yeah. were 18, what were you listening to? Who knows more of the lyrics, me or you? Let's see. Okay. 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 Let's see. We're gonna see. This gonna be tricky. <laughs> Should have got my. Mm -mm. Let's see who's gonna win this one. Cut. We're done. Yeah. Bye. You got like counting crows? I hooked up with Adam Durr when no, I was didn't. 18. Did he have fake hair? That was his real hair at they the time. They were fake. He asked yeah. me to come um, uh, sit with him while he put in the plugs. Get out of here. I was 18. Really? Mm -hmm. I was of legal age. I was an intern at E! Entertainment. Okay. Uh, I was a fucking huckster, hustler before huckster hustler shit right was right. happening so wait you were, what do you mean by that like you were trying to, i was like, an intern move your career forward by hooking up oh wait i was i've talked about this on the podcast and the fact let's that talk it, about it again and did the, you guys kiss did you yes there, was there no we never had sex we never had sex we never had sex sucking the dicks. fact that this has sucking a dicks were you on that dick like bop 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 <laughs> Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> no, always a bottom, eternally a bottom. Really? I don't, I always feel like I'm going to break a guy's dick. Really? Yeah. Remember when you told me? Guys want you yeah. to start on top. Yeah. Yes, and always. And on the bottom. Always. Yeah. yeah. Just lay there and yeah. pretend you're crying. You've got top hair. Mm-hmm. That's not bottom hair. No, this is top hair. That's top hair. But I'm a bottom. You're I'm a bottom. I'm incredibly traditional and submissive in my... IRL. But you also will do some some butt stuff. Sure. You're a butt stuff girl. Well, you're, you're remember when I called stuff Remember girl. when I called you? Yeah, you <laughs> called me and I remember talking I to you. I went, "Hey, so guys just go straight for the butt?" And you told me in the shower you did butt stuff. Yeah. No lube, sans lube as they yeah, say. Yeah, you do in the shower. Yeah. For me, the weirdest thing for me is when I'm dating someone and it's a guy's first time doing butt doing stuff. Doing butt stuff. Is that what they say? 
twice yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's my first time too. I'm like, bitch, am I taking your virginity? <laughs> like this makes me uh, <laughs> This is so you monster. This is so I feel like a pedophile now. You pull a pound. I'm stone. like I have to like pretend I've never I've never done this before. Like, bitch. A lot of guys are not into it. I'm not into it at all. Interesting. At Why? Oh. Um shit, is there? It's a lot of shit, shit that comes out Have of Have you seen the YOLO Girls no. video? Can you pull up YOLO Girls? Yeah. Um, uh, I don't, we don't have a young Why Jamie. would anybody like it? Do you like it? I like the... Mentally, do you like it? But not physically. Nobody physically likes that. That's not how we're designed. Physically, you don't like it. Nobody do want, physically likes it. Do you want me to like answer? It. Go. <laughs> go. At some point... I thought, I thought we were going to have uh, a rapport. I'm so obsessed with you. Okay, go. A rap report? Um, I have you had him on here? Yes, he's funny. I he's I, annoying sometimes, but he's funny. I love him. No, he's, he's so funny. Fu he's, he's fucking. Funny. He's an uncle. Yes, he's dude. our uncle. Yes, he's yes. our annoying fucking uncle. Yeah, and he. If you only know him on Instagram, he is annoying. Here's why. If you why, hang out with him in person, you're like, oh, I know this guy. He's funny. Here's yeah. why you love him. In the beginning, yeah, I was like headphones. He's like, I can hear you. Yeah, I'd love it. Hello. That's why that's he was like, take, I can hear yeah. you. You're yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He goes, so uh, <laughs> he was like, take your fucking headphones off. I can hear you speaking. We're in an Uber and I don't know what he did. I think we we're in Uber. He was telling me about an Uber ride. I forget. This was in like Montreal. And um, I, get in the, he, he goes, yeah, I get an Uber. Guy doesn't even take the passenger seat and put it up. <laughs> I go, what is this? Are we expecting somebody? <laughs> like who's upset that the poor guy driving and didn't just slide the seat up six inches he's such a beast well he actually when he came on the podcast last year he was like Lor uh, or no when he was on um charlemagne's show he was yeah. like lauren hill has not made a hit in 20 years yeah yeah, she doesn't. Do I it. went and saw Lauren Hill uh -huh. uh, at the club Nokia, which okay. I did with Rogan and Jim Jeffries for an Australia fire. Remember when we cared about Australia fires? Do you want me to be honest or not? N uh, please. I, I mean, don't. What what kind of bitch ass rhetorical question is that? <laughs> I'm just saying. Do you want me to be honest? Do you, you want me to go you, with you? If you don't know me by now, I'm just saying. Did you really care about the fires? Yes. I remember when you were trying to save that giraffe. You know that I was in a fire. You were trying to save a giraffe. I was in giraffe. a fire as a kid. You were trying to save a giraffe. Yes. yes. And that shit made me laugh for about a week. <laughs> <laughs> There's a video, and I hope it's still up. Oh. You're like, go in there, like, after Bitch. the fires have went through Bitch. the animal farm. It's an, what is it called? A farm? Petting zoo? A ranch? Whatever it is. And you're like, the, oh, what's oh, the name oh, of the giraffe? Mal Ch Cherokee? Stanley. Stanley, Stanley. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stanley was here. As you could see, the wood is burnt. The, the fires have ravaged this area. You're like bringing up like pieces of the ground. You're like, definitely fires. I have a folder. Oh, do you want to see my folder? <laughs> I have a folder. <laughs> what do you do? Oh, bitch. I what have would a you do? If you could I'm, save Jeffrey, you don't what think, would you do? Where would you go with it? Do you, do you not? Where would you go with I'm it? Still You'd write it? By the way, still working on it, by the way. It's been six months. It's a de it's He's been, dead. They been switched him years. out. It's been two years. They switched No, him. there's another one named Jackson Silmar that they're trying he, to get. He's dead too. Uh, no, yes, he, they're they dead. They are in a, a box in Silmar. They're in a box under the ground. Uh, they are dead. I Those have giraffes. tabs on them. Oh, that one's cute. I have, look, I have, look at this folder. Yeah. I'm tracking animal abusers. This yeah. is my kink. Yeah. This is what I do. Yeah. I am like the Sherlock Holmes Would of you do anything? Zoos. This is going to be a little bit gross. Would you ever have a romantic relationship with an animal? I mean that. Like, have I, you ever like no, loved no, no, the no, animal so much you just wanted them to no, feel pleasure? No, because yes, I do. You have yeah. Go say but, it. Because what you're doing it is you're saying it. Go. I do scratch my dog's labia, dicks, dicks. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not a lesbo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a lesbo about it. Lesbo. It's, yeah. I haven't heard that word. It's like porno. What do you mean you heard that word when I'm you got your hair cut? <laughs> uh, like, what's the worst word? Lesbo? What's the worst word? What's that the... exists? Yeah. I mean, I think we all know. I'm not going to okay. say it because yeah, I yeah, yeah, here, don't but... say it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the word. <laughs> I mean, like... That, there's one... Why that's the say... only... Is there any word that's worse? The, that's worse than that? Yeah. My friend Dove used the K word for Jewish people. When he got cut off. Uh-huh. He got cut off. Not circumcised. <laughs> uh, yeah. Are you gonna circumcise? <laughs> when you have a kid, are you gonna, when you have a kid, are you gonna circumcise him? Uh 
I don't know. There's a lot. I don't know. Boy or girl depends. <laughs> <laughs> girl, I definitely won't. Like, there's 100%. Def- oh, no, that's good. Won't good circumcise call. the girl. Good call. We'll think. We'll circle back. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll not at all. Like, we're circle not going to circle back. any. We're not going to do anything uh-huh. with the girl. Let the hymen be intact. The hymen's intact. I don't think you circumcise if that. If you slap that table one more fucking Is it because they can hear it? Be- I have misophonia. Misophonia. Which me? Oh, oh God, you don't baby. know something. Oh, oh God, I know baby. something you don't know. You know everything I don't know. Oh. Um, which is that uh, I hear things because I grew up in an alcoholic home. You guys know this. Yeah. Um, I can and women. There's not one woman in this room. This is this is my favorite shit. Just like yeah. a bunch of men staring at me, underestimating me. Let's fucking go. We're underestimating you. <laughs> We're in a fucking estate. <laughs> okay, that none of us live in. Nobody's underestimating you right now. You're clearly renovating. You got signs of the occult all over this place. <laughs> signs of the occult because I did the craft screen. But we didn't know that. So Mark is out there videotaping these like six six sixes in a circle, going like, "What's going oh, by on the way, here?" Don't like, get me started on the workers when my dog uh, sliced his hand open, a uh, paw open, and there was blood everywhere, and there was like pentagrams everywhere and, and the workers were you're like, sacrificing animals police. dude you're sacrificing animals. i would never that's why you want a giraffe that's how never. you stay young forever if you could sacrifice a giraffe this you stay young Trina chrome all day <laughs> bitch all day why do we get along so well i don't know you're just fun it's weird yeah why is it weird why are you you hate acting and you're such a good actor Ugh, i hate it doug hate doesn't it. think i'm a good actor you're wrong can i tell you but you're the best director I've said this to you before. I know. You're the best director. And it's almost to the point like, if anybody asked me to do the movie, if I if it was really short and I really liked it, mm-hmm. maybe. Mm-hmm. If it was a full movie and you were directing it, I would do it. Mm-hmm. But most other people, no. I mean that sincerely. I'm not blowing. I, I, I just I, don't care enough. It's boring. I agree but with, with you. you. It's, it literally feels like, here's the line that I think is really funny. Mm-hmm. Do me a favor, say that line. Mm-hmm. If you think of something else that's funny, try it. We should have got Blake here. Yeah. Because yeah. that was the scene. Mm-hmm. But like you were just letting me do other things. You're like, yeah, yeah, we'll figure it out in the edit. Yeah. It was just great. That was just so yeah, much fun. like I don't, well, comedians, we are all about what's the best. It just yeah. has to be the best. Yeah. We don't, there's no egos. There's no, we don't stick to shit. And yeah. We're, we're, we heckle ourselves, bitch. <laughs> yeah, Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah, we yeah. just want the best thing all the time. Yeah. Um, but you're the best. You're the best director. I'm not just saying that because, you know, I criticize you a lot. Well, you know that um, the next thing I want to do? What's that? My plan is I want to be Walt Disney. Yeah, you could do it. You could do it. I want to create experiences. You could do it. You, you created a fucking a Jeffrey Epstein's mansion downstairs. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, I believe it. You know what I mean? There's a fucking I did fly on this plane down. numerous times. The snacks were d- delicious. Did you ever get asked to be involved never. in anything like that? I had Nothing. never heard of him until mm-hmm. Tim Dillon. Timmy's. Shouts to Tim. I know I there was Tim. like an Andre Balaz connection. I knew Andre Balaz. He's a hotelier in New York City. Oh, New York. Really, New York? It. I don't know about hotels. The Standard. I live there. I'm I, sorry. I don't stay the in the Standard. There. I live there. Whatever. What's your ancestry? Ancestry. Um, like what? What do you mean by that? Like, where are you from? 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 Uh, Scotland. Really? Yeah, my mom was born and raised in Scotland. Have you? D- okay. Uh, Scotch Irish? No, Scottish. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just the Scottish part. Have you not done your ancestry? <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. You should. No, because what if you? What if I find out my mom was just like a hooer? You know what I mean? And or then, was like, a my dad's raped? Because like, yeah, all but what all... if I find out my dad's not my real dad? My dad's my hero. I don't want to know that. Your dad's my hero. He's a pretty good guy. The fact that he was a news yeah anchor yeah that's a plot twist. Yeah, and like the coolest stories. Did the first ever story about hip hop music. Wow. Yeah for NBC, mm-hmm. produced it, and then- uh, So you yeah. inherited, here's the thing, you inherited all these good, amazing things? Curiosity from him, for sure. Curiosity, yeah. pacing, mm. um, uh, hip hop, all of it, <laughs> right? Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, investigative journalism. Yeah, he's super curious, but yeah. But you also inherited negative shit. Yeah. What's that? What are those? Um, Nothing, from your grandparents, nothing, grandparents. Nothing negative about me. Scottish, at all. I'm <laughs> Scottish. A perfect, actualized Scottish. human being. Why didn't you um, let me? No, tons of tons of things. I think that like, yeah, I think the curiosity comes from my dad, and then just the drive comes from my mom. My mom's like insane, 
her drive is unbelievable. I She's love relentless. It. I love her. She will destroy anything in her path. Yeah. I mean that 100% sincerely. I love her. Like right now, if she was What's like, her oh, name? Sandra. Sandra. You can't fuck with a Sandra. No. Sandy D. Wow. That's not really her name. And where is she from? Uh, she's from Scotland. Scotland? Yeah. yeah. S people from Scotland, Highlanders. Yeah. These motherfuckers had to ward off bears with their energy. There's no bears in Scotland at all. It's more of a I marsh. was trying to think of what the yeah. predator was. The English. What yeah, what were the English what, were the were predators? The, what, Have you seen oh, Braveheart? Yeah. The English. Uh, yeah, I've seen Braveheart. They would come Mel around. Gibson, come on the pod. I have some questions about your voicemails. <laughs> have you heard those voicemails recently? Dude, he's a wild boy. I re-listened. He's he, a wild 17 boy. 17 movies in production. He can come back. He's back. That's he, greatness. No, no what do you greatness. mean? He's back. He's greatness. He played Will Ferrell's dad in a movie. He's in Mark a, Wahlberg's dad. He's in a Santa movie. He's yeah, Santa. Yeah. He played Santa. Yeah. Yeah. This motherfucker. I Those mean, voicemails. I, who hates the Jews more than Santa? I gave up my <laughs> Lakers tickets. <laughs> the the anger, the rage in his heart. Yeah. Dove, do you forgive him? Dove's Jewish. Let's forgive people. Really? Let's do it. Let's okay. see who do we forgive, who don't we forgive. But also, I want to plan your wedding and uh, fight me about uh, why you didn't take my advice on your engagement. You I had. I would have done it better. You had an incredible, but also creepy <laughs> way of proposing. Uh -huh. Can you? I want you to say it. Okay, I forgot. You didn't forget because you put thought into this. You clearly put thought I wrote into it this. Down. Hold on. It was you. This is the crux of it. Mm -hmm. To propose in the conscious state and the subconscious state. Oh, that's right. <laughs> So close this. You don't need this. Yeah. Go, 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 go. This, you, you told me this as, as a real person. You really thought this oh, was the right way to do yes, it. Yes. I go. wanted you to... Make my girlfriend pass out. <laughs> she was your girlfriend at the time. Yeah. While she was sleeping, yeah. put the engagement ring on her finger. Yeah. So and then when she woke up... She wouldn't have a choice. <laughs> you wanted me to take away her power of choice. I think That's that is her body, your choice. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what's wrong with the world? Uh, no, I, I, I <laughs> your can't body, that. No, nope, your body, Andrew's choice, always. <laughs> yeah. Um, I wanted the that to me is the hottest shit ever. Right. Cancel me. I don't yeah. give a fuck. Yeah. Um, waking up because you don't know, and that, oh, I want you to video her. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, Put up yeah. cameras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I this, mean, this is terrifying, right? This is absolutely terrifying. Uh, hot content. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. would have gone viral. Yeah, yeah. Um, to put cameras up. I wanted you to put cameras up. Put an engagement ring on her finger while she was sleeping, and figure she was gonna get up. She was gonna brush her teeth, wash her face, and be like, <gasps> "Yeah." That would have been amazing. But what if she said no? Then it would have been... Was she going to say no? No, she wasn't going to say no. Not with that rock. Your boy went in. She wouldn't say no to you. What is she? Netflix? <laughs> Even they didn't. Nah, <laughs> they always say yes eventually. That's right. Good no means No means yes. No means yes. In entertainment, yeah. Mm -hmm. In entertainment. Mm -hmm. Yes? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Have you ever been in that situation? Uh, say it again a different way. Have you ever been in the situation where like, you know, a network or somebody said no to you and then they came around and they realized that the right thing to do is to say yes? No, I got canceled a lot or yeah, I got canceled a lot and then I would like see a network head be like, we were wrong, this, 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 or this was ahead of its time. Like I did a show at HBO that, a uh, pilot that you auditioned for yeah. to play my boyfriend. Yeah, and, and I, you were you, we were ageist. This is how you we met. You were ageist to me. You were the best person for the job. Yeah, he came in, crushed it. Yeah, but I thought he looked too young. Right. To play my boyfriend. Yeah, which is prejudice. And I hired Brett Goldstein, who's now on um, Handy Pam. What's the thing on Apple with Jason Sudeikis? I don't know. I don't know. Um. I don't know. Cut it out, Apple. I, you right? know what it was? We're not watching anything on Apple. I was... <laughs> cut it out. Do you have anything in production with them? But cut it the fuck out. You see a stupid Apple with a bite out of it? I'm not watching a TV show like that. <laughs> Do you have something in production? No. With them? Do you? Have I something? have Bunga Bunga, the story of Silvio Berlusconi. 
who Berlusconi, who you are very similar, the Italian mm -hmm. Prime Trump. Minister Trump. He's a, a but he was a bad motherfucker. He was Trump before Trump. Trump really? got his playbook from Silvio Berlusconi. Interesting. Bought all the airwaves. What you want to say? Say that it. Dove, say said, it. Twenty years. Dove, say it. That Dove, say it into the mic. Is that my Once work? we get the truffle started, yeah. we call him the truffle pig. The truffle pig. Yeah, he's oh, the bitch. truffle pig. But you can talk into so, it. So Silvio Berlusconi, yeah. um, uh, he bought all the airwaves, mm -hmm. controlled all the airwaves. So used to used to make TV shows and films in Italy mm -hmm. for this Italian company uh, until I stole him. That's what you did? Yeah. Oh, shit. So he knows a lot about this. Oh, you know Silvio. Indiana Productions is the name of the... I hosted Bunga Bunga, the podcast for Wondery. Oh, wow. You haven't listened to it? No. Do you not know who I am? <laughs> Yo, he's not underestimating you. Girls on every flight. Dove, bitch. Every flight yeah. Jesus. He came to the middle of nowhere. So, I don't know where we are. You said that last time. I still don't know. <laughs> We're near Rogan's old studio. Okay. We're at my home. You're my family. Deal Thank with it. Thank you. Deal with it. Thank you. So the engagement, we'll get back to Silvio Berlusconi in a second. Apple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, look, there's going to be a point where people just go Google to watch a show and mm -hmm. we don't, the networks don't exist. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So whoever's financing it, it's, it doesn't, you know, ja uh, Acura is owned by Jaguar. Right. Which is owned by, no one cares. Yeah. No one this is, this is how I get deals done. I just trash the network. So just let me do my thing. No, I know. And then I got you. Years, no, I get it. I'll have an Apple it's, show. Um, okay? You're the, uh, how, you're using is, the game. Yes. Shout to Neil Strauss. <laughs> Shout to you, Neil. Have you spoken to him? <laughs> no. Oh, dude, that guy is the, uh, I'm good. the economic hitman of pussy. I'm good. Like, imagine making millions of dollars teaching guys how to just, like, fuck girls like they're objects and then selling a book about how to have a meaningful relationship right after. I'm That's good. genius. Yeah, That's genius. I'm good. Create the addiction and then solve it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah create it's Scientology. Rogan and I spoke about I, the Scientology I know, I'm thing. aware. But I was right or wrong? Uh, you need that. Uh, you need to clear up. Clear it up. Clear. Oh, is there a gay go, go clear? No, no, is there a gay? Clear it up. But, hey. No, you know what? I, I, hey. fuck, I fuck with the I fuck with the Nexium cult. The really? Nex, the Nexium cult makes a lot of sense. I'm having Sarah Edmondson from The Vow. By the way, I'm on season two of The Vow. Bitch. And it had her on my IG live coming on the podcast, but this fucking quarantine shit. Do you have any notes on my podcast, by the way? Because yeah. I, I, no, these are my notes for you. Oh, okay. God. Um... You don't know who Keith Rainier is. I, I know about the Nyseum or Nexium or whatever it is. Because you're a cult leader, so you yeah, should, know, you should about study it. them all. All about it. You can have a good cult. What's you wrong with a good cult? You should study them all. Yeah. That's him. I mean, he's not that bad. No, the he's cute, guys. but he's short and bow-legged. That's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. And a malignant narcissist. Yeah, the narcissist. You know what I mean? He's like, and his body, all really... Like the despots mostly were short. Napoleon. Mm. Uh, um, what does despot mean? Despot, like a, the um, didactic leaders okay. that were oppressive. Just real quick, in the future, when I ask you what a word means, mm -hmm. don't use a bigger word to describe <laughs> it, please. Don't, don't don't do that ever again. You're, okay? Stop pretending you're despot, dumb. How about ha, didactic? Do, do me a favor. Yeah. Stop pretending you're dumber than you are. Because uh, okay. you want to be New York. Why is New York dumb? By the way. You know that this is boxing. Okay, go. Don't you think? Are we boxing? Don't you think that okay. this is what we do on yes. podcast now? Yes. Yeah. Should we start calling out people like to come on our podcast to box with us? Yeah, but not debating. With? That's a little annoying. It's like Ben Shapiro Ugh. come on my podcast. Don't get me started. On I, I know, I know. Don't get you, me started. But you know what I'm saying. But you know what Have I'm you saying. Have you spoken to him? I, no, I haven't. Okay. He retweets me sometimes, so now I'm all right. <laughs> but like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like Schumer, come on my podcast. Yeah, yeah. Like that kind of thing. Yeah. That's kind of what we're doing with podcasts now, right? No, I mean like- Come fight with me. No, I don't want to fight with people. But I want to just have like a great time. But we're sparring. But we're not fighting. Sparring. We're have busting balls. Busting balls. Yeah, busting okay. balls is okay. good. These you are synonyms. I mean? Yeah, but it's not. It's okay. Not, you know You're I mean? the like, guy that's like, okay, that we said this last time. I didn't say you were a bitch. I said you were being a bitch. You're like <laughs> trying to get me on a technicality. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's actually, I like that Lucky better. lady. Yeah. Lucky, lucky lady. lady. Lucky lady. Lucky. Your lady's very lucky. She's a lucky girl. So I thought. She's a lucky girl, wit. I thought you. Wit. She is fucking wit. gorgeous. She's a lucky, she's a beautiful girl. Uh-huh. And she's a lucky girl. The body won't stop. Body won't stop. And the ring is stupid. 
Yeah. The ring is stupid. Yeah. Your boy went in. The I don't know Talk about the proposal about though. Talk more about I'm it. I'm not a huge When the ring looks like that, when it's fucking when it's a rink, uh -huh. when she gets the ring. I think you should have pranked her, but whatever. Pranked her. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm hmm She's been dreaming about this day <laughs> for probably the majority why of do you her think what, why do you think women just dream about being proposed to all the time they don't we dream about threesomes all the time why can't you dream about being proposed to all men dream about threesomes all the time yeah Multiple is that true times. there's one two three five men in this room raise your hand if you dream about threesomes all the time yeah one person raised their hand not every single second of the day but throughout two. the day you might see something in the time of covid yeah for sure threesomes why why is not is one a pussy and a butthole, not enough. You no, want two I, pussies I, and two buttholes. I don't want a butthole. Okay, so you want two pussies. Here. Why two? Or four tits and two pussies. Yeah. Why? It's more than two. And do they have to be a certain... Like, what if they're two flat-chested women? Great. Tits, Why overrated. Two? Why overrated. not four? Like, what, what's the threesome? What's the logic? What's the math? It's just more. I okay. think it's gluttony at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just more. You know, why, why do you have a double chocolate chip? More people cookie? to apologize to the next day. Why would more people apologize? to disappoint. More people to they might give be STDs to. They more UTIs. Their too. I don't believe in them. Mm -hmm. You don't believe in? STIs. STIs? Yeah. STDs? I don't believe in STIs. What's an STI? Doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> don't have to believe in it <laughs> how about that that's Nyseum you're like on some Alan Greenspan shit where you talk in a way that it's impossible is that the fed guy mm -hmm. like it's impossible to argue with you because you aren't making sense but it right. sounds so smart yeah do you know about the fed uh it's all fake I know I love it I love it I got into a wormhole there did I get any jokes this. in your new special yes I pitched a couple bangers. You had a no. You know you had a banger. You had a few bangers. Oh, you did. Do we? Can we say? Yeah, we can say it. Because these might be your friends. We can. These might be your friends. We can say it, and then we can put it in. The Stanley Tucci, <laughs> the Stanley Tucci joke about uh, <laughs> you don't believe in stereotypes. He goes, "You play the sassy gay sidekick in every movie. <laughs> stereotypes paid for your house in the hills where you avoid black people." <laughs> 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 That's a fucking good jok. Dude, it was a fucking I don't remember maker. pitching it. Haymaker. But I was You weren't there. This is back when we were doing the YouTube. Uh huh. And it was so good that we kept it for the Netflix. But it was remember the all the Shit. celebs do that stupid black and white video? Yeah! And literally we're like, oh yes. my god, we need something for and I didn't know Tucci. None of us knew these people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? And I called you. And you were like in the middle of doing whatever the fuck you're doing. Yeah. And like, you know, things are like pat, like banging in the background. There's like pots and shit. You're like moving around. Crying. And then maybe crying. And then you just start doing these like really like harsh roast jokes about these people. And like at first we're laughing. And then at the end we're like, I don't think Whitney likes these people at all. <laughs> <laughs> I think there might be a personal. <laughs> but it was Tucci. It's like uh, all the jokes something. I'm not allowed to say. Exactly. I oh, literally I'm at the, I'm a roast bitch. Like, no, no, that's you're my, really, you're amazing. That's my thing. Yeah. You're That's amazing. my thing. Yeah, yeah. And People don't know that, but you came in and you you helped us. You were there for like two days. Two days? I came in for one full day and then you took me out the next day because everyone needed to rest or had COVID or something. Yes, but we didn't go in the next day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but you came for a day and then you really helped us and I thought it was so sweet and I threw your, your shoes out the window. I loved your... That's right. I loved yeah. your... He doesn't like a wedge heel. Hate men, it. Men don't like a wedge heel. Is this Expl all... Explain what we're talking about. We're talking about the sneaker I was that wearing has a, a heel. I was wearing a... Sneaker heel. A cute sneaker heel. Ladies. Not, I'm a 90s bitch for life. Yeah, but that never exists in the 90s. Okay. Nobody does this sneaker heel thing. It is absolutely disgusting. Mm -hmm. And I mean this with all love. Okay. Ladies, I, it looks horrible. Ladies? Yeah, because there females? are women, there are women that are listening female. to this. Why don't you call them females? What do you want me to call them? Ladies isn't what you want to be called. <laughs> it's just Zim? A... <laughs> you want Zim? Is that it? Zer? No, I'm just. I'm just... Zay? <laughs> they, them, her, her, she, she, his, was. Whatever Elliot? you want to be called. Elliot. Oh, dude, we have her in the special. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's really funny. <laughs> yeah, there's like a line I forget. What is there? It's like. So the thing is that white males and the picture that pops up is is Elliot. Do you know her? Uh Him. Whatever with this. <laughs> Come on. I, you're I, allowed to make one mistake. Like, I'm joking. No. Oh, we're going to forgive people? Yes. Hold on. We're going to go through who we should and shouldn't forgive. Okay. Um, him. Are you... She... Ugh, whatever. 
He, I do not. He no, is Elliot. He is brilliant. Brilliant actor. Because he got all Stress. the money at every stage of the career. Inception, like when he was straight. Right? Yeah. He, when he was a girl. Yeah. He got the money. But as, now he's the oppressor. He's the patriarchy. Wait for it. Then he got the gay money from Vice. He had a show about like traveling around as like a gay person around the world. Mm -hmm. It was literally, there was like gay in the title. Right? And then <laughs> flips the switch <laughs> to, tr to trans guy. Right? And now is going to get the trans role. I mean, it's a genius. But... Can it's never, brilliant. can ne cannot. I was asking Benton about this. I was like, still can Elliot show. not play a gay man? Can Elliot not play a gay man? Why? What is she into? She's into chicks still? She, straight man. She's a straight man. Dates women. Dates women. Yes, exactly. Can't play a gay man. Can't play a gay man, but can she play a woman like she's playing on Umbrella Academy? Or is that stealing a job? Is that stealing a job? Who gives a fuck? I've been f saying that for the greater part of my career. Literally, who gives a fuck? I do not. People are have three jobs, and they just want to go see a fucking movie. Mm -hmm. They want to be entertained. Mm -hmm. They want to laugh. Mm -hmm. They just left Target. Mm -hmm. The fucking overdraft fee. Mm -hmm. I'm on the phone with the goddamn cable guy mm -hmm. who won't show up, and mm -hmm. I just want to be entertained. I don't give a fuck who's playing it. Mm -hmm. Make me laugh. Make me feel something. You know what? Entertainers, we're your babysitters. Mm -hmm. My kids are on the fucking couch. Mm -hmm. I need to go run some goddamn errands. Yeah. I need to go into the fucking shed yeah. and get the fucking oil mm -hmm. to put in the car because I fix my own car and I, I'm i my own handyman of my yeah. home. I'm yeah. fixing the screen door and I need my kids to look at a fucking sh thing. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. I think they assume... I, I think care. everyone assumes... We're all fucking pervy predator freaks. No, 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 no. They don't no, care. No, 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 no. We're I good boys. Not, not We're us. Good boys not over us. Here. We're good I mean, boys. I mean Hollywood. They're I'm like, yeah, we know you're all perverts. We don't care. Do you think everyone's a pervert in Hollywood? That's I don't like generalizations like that. I don't. I, Didn't you just make a generalization? No, right you know now? what I mean. No, I don't. Everyone in Hollywood's a pervert. I think everyone is a pervert, and we all are have to sort of clamp it down. Okay, you think everyone's a pervert? I mean, and everybody has to clamp it down. I think based. I think. I think sex started being. What does that mean? I think Everyone's a pervert. Sex started being consensual like twenty you think years Mark, ago. You think Mark is a pervert? Mark. What Mark, is pervert? Define pervert. Let's agree on the definition of pervert. Mark co-wrote the show with me, the Netflix show, mm -hmm. right? Um, he co-created the show. Can I say something? Can real I say one more thing? He, he has been with one woman his whole life, and he is married. Is he a pervert? That's pretty sick. <laughs> Sick in a cool way or what? Because I can't tell with your no hair. No straight man would ever love a woman that much. Whoa! <laughs> Shots fired. Grab the mic. That's Grab like the mic, that's Mark. like that is completely true. That's like yeah. me and Benton. What is is Mark the new Benton? Maybe. Yeah. Your kink is like the same pussy every time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's like your kink. Like no one's ever fucked this pussy before. Yeah. Like the same one. Yeah. Every fucking time. Yo, you're such time. a bro, dude. You're <laughs> such a bro. What a bro. It's the best. It's like it's like wearing sandals that are only yours that you wear yeah. for years. Your feet fit perfectly into you're them. You're comparing your wife's vagina to, to sandal flip flops. Or nice, like Birkenstocks or rainbows. <laughs> N not like shit. Not like I you have know. a great. What's her name? Alicia. Alicia. I have a divorce attorney. Uh, <laughs> for you. Available. I'm just no. saying, not everybody's a pervert. No, My crew can... is pretty responsible. Everybody's got girlfriends with fiance up, wife up. But we are Dove. Uh huh. Dove will only be with Jewish women. Oh, interesting. Only be with Jewish women. Do you have to? Because your family. Eventually, but I haven't up until this point. Uh -huh. That's why he's not married, but he'll only marry and have a family with Jewish women. He will not be with someone who's not Jewish. I'm into that. That's fine. What's whatever. I'm Can only into guys that, you know. That what? Don't challenge me. That don't challenge <laughs> <laughs> So what's the difference? I'm just saying, don't you think that he should maybe expand his search a bit? I think you should stay in your lane and let him do whatever the fuck he needs to do for no, him. What is that? What is what is this? What? This is my friend right here. Mm -hmm. It's my business. This mm, is my business. Is it? I've known this kid since I'm 18 years old. Okay. Yeah. You talk like me. I say that. Since I'm 18. Is that New York? That's East Coast. Yeah. You're but, trash from Florida. 
No, I'm Trash from Virginia in West Virginia. Oh, sick. <laughs> Appalachia, motherfucker, which is Scotch Irish. Are you Scotch Irish? Yes. I'm Scotch Irish, West Virginia coal mining. Do people know that? That's why I can direct movies and do all this shit mm. at one time because these women were in hollows, mm. in mountains, barefooted, mm -hmm. fighting, getting raped, and fighting off motherfuckers like with their just crazy. Yes. That's, you fought, they fought them off with their crazy. With their crazy, with their yeah. eyes. Yeah. <laughs> all they had were their eyes. Dude, <laughs> on their stance and their energy. <laughs> like women, the only way they could protect them. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> it felt like you were practicing. It really did that moment. You're like, no. no. <laughs> I'm just saying like there you, the 48 laws of power 101, like you have to let people know that you are crazy. Mm. That is the only way to have any power. Is that right? Mm hmm You're not a Robert Greene person? No. That's shocking to me. Charlemagne is such a Robert Greene person, yeah. so I feel like I get it all I had him, him on the podcast. Like it's fucking mind-blowing. Charla? No, uh, Robert, Robert Greene. Green. Ah, and what did he say? What the uh, fuck does he know about power? What power has he had? He's, no, but he studies uh, despots. Remember uh, what that means? Yes, a didactic. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, he studies great, powerful leaders and how they became powerful. Machiavelli. And My Na girl's coming up. Napoleon. Napoleon. But she's not allowed on camera. Okay. Can I tell her? We can talk to her, but no on camera. Can I tell her what I think her proposal should have been? Yes, I would love and that. can we plan the wedding? Okay, listen. This year is coming to an end, but self-care routines, still very important. Self-care, very important. Okay, this is the part right here where Whitney would ask me what, what razor she uses, and then I would tell her the answer, even though we both knew the answer already. It's the Billy razor. Billy, B-I-L-L-I-E. They are changing, recreating everyday essentials, delivering premium razors and high-performing body care directly to you. There's no pink tax. There's no visit to the drugstore. There's no breaking the bank. You can literally get their starter kit for $9. That includes, in, that includes excuse me, an award-winning razor. Did you even know there were awards for razors? Because I sure didn't. Two refillable blades and a magnetic holder that keeps your razor safe and dry in between uses. Now, listen, I don't shave my legs often. I know, surprise. But I say often because I have had my legs shaved um, to get tattoos uh, with one of those little dinky razors that they use at the tattoo shops. And let me tell you, they should all get Billy razors too because I want to feel more involved in this ad. So I shave both my legs fully and I may or may not be a model now. And to express a little love for our show, go to mybilly.com slash Whitney. It's a small way you can support us while getting the best razor you'll ever own. It's just $9 to get your starter kit, plus free shipping always. Go to mybilly.com slash Whitney. Spelled mybilly, B-I-L-L-I-E dot com slash Whitney. We're adults. We take vitamins. If you're an adult listening to this and you don't take vitamins, give it a try. What, are you, why, what, if, what if they make you live forever? You don't know until you try, okay? Grow up. Try a vitamin. Ritual we've talked about before. The thing about Ritual is that they are changing the way vitamins are marketed to us. They are, it's not, they're not your typical multivitamins. Ritual, they're clean. They're vegan-friendly formulas. They're made with key nutrients and forms that your body can actually use. There's no shady extras in them. A lot of multivitamins, you're not really sure what's in them. It's a little confusing. Ritual takes all the guesswork out of it. You know you're getting something that your body can use with a clean vegan formula. And the coolest thing is they send them right to your door. So you don't have to worry about running out of them or going out and getting them. It makes healthier habits super easy. <laughs> you deserve to know what's in your multivitamin. That's why Ritual is offering our listeners 10% off during your first three months. Visit ritual.com slash Whitney to start your ritual today. I just want I just want to say the reason Who's why. Who's officiating? The wedding? Mm -hmm. Dove or you? I think it's both. <laughs> I think both of you guys should do it. I'm done. Absolutely. I'm not a. I'm Baby. not. Baby! Come in! Come in! All those I are said, for you. I said that we don't put you on camera, but if you do want to say anything, you can talk into the mic right there. I don't think I do. She doesn't want to. Okay. Come in, though. And all those love. presents are for you right over there. Yeah. yeah. The best. Aww. The best, girl. Obsessed with you. Okay, when you That's were my in brand. New York. No, put it in front of her mouth. Stop, hey. stop. Hey. We are, we are not. If, what are we doing over here? If this is how you're going to co-officiate the wedding with me, this is not going to be. They think that they're officiating the wedding. The both I of them. think I should do it. 
if we have a wedding, yeah. I feel like this is the least wedding-like thing to happen. So in that case, I'm okay. She doesn't want a traditional <laughs> wedding. Yeah, no, you, sh- you shouldn't. Yeah. yeah. You shouldn't. I got it. I'm on it. Okay. She wants to go to Portland and just sit around food trucks all day. I don't want to go to Portland. No. no. Can I tell you something? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Weddings are not for you. Oh. Right? Okay. They're for your friends. Mm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and you know what it is? <laughs> you know what it is? It's not about you. The wedding's not about you. And it's also the great Kevin Christie used to um, come with me on the road. Comedian, artist, the best. He said, you get married. Because when I was engaged, I was like, I don't want to do a wedding. Da, da, da. He's right. like, no, no, no. You have a love wedding. You. Love you. I can't stand when you guys are together. You can't focus. I can't. I <laughs> really can't. So obsessed with her. So I, I honestly, have- honestly, it's a problem, and that's the reason why I can't have her at most podcasts. Yeah, it's almost distracting at shows. I feel like you I might said be. She related. could come here. <laughs> I feel like you have like some kind of. Why are you? Moving? You might have some kind of ancestral. Yeah, yeah. No, no one can be happy. Let us be happy. <laughs> no one, that's what she does. It's it just doesn't a track. giant atomic bomb. It doesn't track. <laughs> like you do look. You don't not look alike. I mean, you some people. You don't. The forehead is alarmingly similar. Some yeah. people say he looks like my brother, which is. I yeah, do think. Gross. Yeah, can we not ruin it? We like, we're about it. to go on vacation. We, you know where? I mean? Everything's also, going like, I well. Need I feel like we need to do a 23 and me. I don't want to think about it. I feel like we need a 23 and me on yeah. you two. Yeah. I feel like you're past life twins or something. Mm, mm, mm. It's a little gross. Yeah. Um, like if you were a girl, yeah, nobody that's... could be happy if she's not happy. Oh, nobody could be chilling. But you're if you're chilling, you you're blue. If you <laughs> what do you mean you're chilling? It's falling apart. What are you talking about? I'm unhinged. <laughs> yeah. no, dude, I'm the happiest. Ooh, really? I'm the Can happiest I I've ever you? fucking been. But um, if you were a woman, that's what you look like. Right. And if you were a man, that's what you look like. So wait, really, my just... nose would not be that bad. <laughs> And Stop you, turning and it against me! And, Take away the microphone! And you'd Take be, away the mic! You'd be way funnier. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, shit. Now she went for my heart. <laughs> <laughs> she tried to hurt me with that one. <laughs> All right, um, well, okay. it's been a blast. Weddings are for your friends, but I don't want she the want... attention on me. Like, I I don't okay, want people got looking it, got at it. me. But what it is, mm-hmm. is, is it is about people coming and number one, seeing that it's possible. Wait, real quick. How many weddings have you had? <laughs> <laughs> so what the fuck do you know about weddings, okay? Shut up and sit down. We'll take it from here. We're the food trucks, babe. Let's do this. Oh, you're How about this? Trucks now? The food <laughs> My brand? That's the only way we're going to be able to afford okay. a place like this. We have food trucks. I will, will kick you, I will kick you out. I know. This is my home. I know. This I'll is take my, my show. fucking espresso. My super espresso. It's super. <laughs> Thank I you. I got oil. Uh, you took an injectable before the podcast. Promo code Whitney. What? <laughs> <laughs> Um, she took a syringe out of the fucking fridge <laughs> and jammed it into her stomach. The peptide shit from Rogan. Yeah. She's freeze on the peptide. Also. Oh. We're going to freeze the eggs, too. You're freezing the eggs? I froze the eggs at 33. Really? Mm-hmm. So what, they're done now. Got 15 eggs in Redondo Beach. But they're done now. By thir- they're 33? No. They That's can... five years ago. Those eggs are fucking nope, toast. They can hold now for 10 years. No. Those yep. eggs are done. What, uh, in what medical school? I went to medical school. Which one? The Bahamian one. <laughs> It was a Bahamian medical school, and they said if you freeze those eggs, they're no, fucking toast. They can now gelatin. The, 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 <laughs> gelatin. <laughs> those eggs are gelatin. In all seriousness, I go do, look at your eggs right now. What am I going to give? They're going to give you fucking pudding. So That's I'm going to give, give birth to a gummy bear. <laughs> gummy bear. A hundred percent. It's coming shooting out of you. That's it. Okay. <laughs> Hey, Winnie, this is the love of my life. You guys look like twins. <laughs> you look the same. Just as you said to ancestry. Look. Nobody can be happy. That's a, you, you need... That's what you should I, call this This theory podcast. needs to get out there. Nobody can be happy. The wedding mm-hmm. is to inspire your friends that it is possible. Because half the half these motherfuckers that come to your wedding are to go, this is not my person. I don't have that. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Meme. A meme just happened. That's true. I felt a meme just... I felt That's a gift true. just happen. That's like, true. You know what I mean? That's you true. are providing a space uh-huh. where people can come uh-huh. and go, uh-huh. no, I want that. Mm. Lizzie Kaplan, bitch, you're, I went to her wedding and I was like, oh, oh, you get to see the th- an example mm. of... So people come to your wedding and go, 
oh, this person isn't the one. Mm. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Can I ask stretch. you a question? Uh, do you take Corona seriously or not? Uh, I do. My mom's in a nursing home, but oh my god, uh, I, that's I'm a so that's sorry about that's that. a well. I'm, Way to make it about you. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> Takes her mask off all the time. You do take your mask off what is all the, the time. What is the? What are you asking? I just want. To, I just want to know. Like, what is the responsibility what? with Corona and weddings? Because I have a friend, right? Oh, you want to have it? May uh, not be in this room that had a wedding in like the height of Corona. Uh huh. Yeah. How do you where, feel about where, that? Where? Where? Outside, but the sun kills it, right? It's it was an inside. Days. It was an inside wedding. Yeah, I just do it outside. But it, what if it was inside? Really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Great can, speeches made. Amazing speeches, like some of the best speeches. Uh huh. And uh, no masks. Not a single mask. But what do you, how do you feel about that? And guess what? Nobody got Corona. Not a single person. What state? New York? Take a guess. Um, Texas? Florida. Florida. Yeah. No, there wasn't a single case. A but, single case of Corona. But did they get tested? How do we know that? They got tested. Not well, a everyone single at the wedding got everyone tested. Got, okay. Both of his grandparents died three weeks later. <laughs> Unrelated. Unrelated. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Mark had a wedding. What bit we am all I in? Went, no, this is 100% serious. Mark had a wedding. Okay. Okay. Him and Alicia. Can I say her name? Is her name? Okay. Um, I already said it. Okay. They had a wedding. This is height of Corona's. Uh -huh. Okay. We all go down there. Corona doesn't exist in Florida. 100% convinced. Does not exist in well, Florida. Well, there is the sun. There's a lot of vitamin D because people are in the sun a lot. But also... LA is vitamin D. Yeah, no, true. But let me ask you. Yeah. But ask are me. they? I, I don't know. I'm, I don't give a fuck, dude. We're yeah. comics. I'm not a doctor. I don't want to be a doctor. I don't want to be a politician. I don't want any of that shit. Yeah. I'm just fucking, let's go down this path. Yeah. I'm happy to be wrong. But are they getting tested? No, they're How do we Catholic. Know? They, they believe in God. They might God think protected they them. might think and they have the flu God. or a cough. You need to find I God. I have you have God upside down. my plastic surgeon. He crushed it. He crushed it. His name is Garth Fisher. Garth? Who goes Garth. to a guy named Garth? Dr. Garth you Fisher, got bitch. He's from Garth? Yes. Dr. No Garth way. Fisher. He's a, he, he said, hi, my name is Garth. His, I'm going to put plastic in oh, your Oh, he doesn't do any of that shit. Yet, what does he do? He's he's done every tit you have jerked off to. He has done, babe. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean, is she wrong? like? I don't actually jerk off. To be honest with you, I jerked off once we've, recently. We've talked about it before. Why? Yeah. Um, why you were you watching your, when your special came out? I didn't want to have sex at 3 a.m. when you came home from shooting Netflix. Yeah, we were shooting a lot. I was coming home super late. You had COVID. I had Corona. <laughs> uh, I was super hot. Like, we I was did, really we attractive. We did fuck during Corona. We did fuck during <laughs> yeah. Corona. Actually, that's kind of When hot. you had, when he had it? No, yeah. did I Did you get out. it? Never. How'd I find out, babe? How'd I find out that, that I had uh, Corona? <laughs> Shit. She's like, I didn't get Corona. I did get herpes. You can tell this on <laughs> I found out that I had symptoms when by going down on her. Because you couldn't smell her pussy? And I was like, where's the flavor? You know couldn't I mean? taste her pussy? Yeah. I was like, it's time for a flavor town. <laughs> 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 it's so much heavier when she's in the room talking like that. <laughs> so, and then I was like, oh, fuck. And I ran to the kitchen and I tried some uh, dried cherries. No flaves. Yeah, take that. I need a minute. Yeah, take a minute, okay? I need a minute. Take a minute, process. take some Darfin nectar, take some MCT oil. Darfin, this is the fucking shit. Have you put this in your sphinx? I know. No, my my sinuses are good. Yeah. I'm not going to fuck with them. No, you you look great. You've been drooling throughout this episode. Drooling? <laughs> no, not drooling. What is it out of your nose? Snotting? Snotting. I know, bit, I know. No, no, but that's actually oil. Yeah. Okay. I also put oil under my nose. Gotcha. Okay. Does it look bad? Do I look crazy? No, you look great. Am I at the Courtney Love of comedy? You actually are. <laughs> and I wanted to have a conversation with you what about do, this. What? What's happening? What's happening? Because one day you were like super glam, right? Mm -hmm. And you were like posted a picture and it was just like the, the brunette, the hair and everything. And then the next day, mm -hmm. um, it was like honeymooners. I don't know that reference, you old fucking man. God damn it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fuck, dude, don't you hate when the- Maybe Eternal Sunshine of the Spot was mine. Can we get what like- What is that? A... Is that like- Oh my God. Is that a Duplass movie? Okay, maybe we do get along. A Duplass movie. <laughs> dude, this Duplass guy that we fucking rip apart 
in the special, like really rip apart. It's actually funny that you do. It's actually so amazing that you do it. Did because she think about that? Was that yours too? Maybe that Anthony Boring instead of Anthony Bourdain. Sounds Anthony like some Boring. Shit I do. It might. It was a long time ago, but we were all writing and. Was that was that yours? Duplass, I feel like it would have been. Anyway, me. he keeps it's texting so Bobby Lee when we're on the podcast. Who? Du- Duplass. You're the on the whole time. He's texting Bobby. You're Lee. on Bobby's podcast, I'm on Bobby's and he's texting him, and I, it drove me crazy. I've never met the guy. Have but you I, had I, any? Has anyone said like, "What the fuck, dude"? So far, to me, mm-hmm. um, personally, mm-hmm. no. I mean, obviously, the bloggers are out there, like, okay, compla- I mean, yeah. no, no, like that's what that's we want. Good. Them that's good. That's you. Are, yeah. They're such idiots because. We literally say in the piece, right? We're like, this is how media works. Mm-hmm. In the show mm-hmm. that they're reviewing, mm-hmm. we go, the no-name bloggers blog something. Mm-hmm. The news stations react to the no-name blogger and make it a real story when it's not. Mm-hmm. And then the bloggers react to that. Mm-hmm. And literally, <laughs> the no-name bloggers are reviewing the special. They're not even self-aware enough to know Wild. that they're doing the thing that we called out. Wild. And we're sitting back going... Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Being a sheep. I appreciate Being it. Being a sheep. Because when you say something's horrible, Thanks everybody for... goes, oh my God, that's I, so bad. But I got I to gotta watch it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Dude. This is exactly what No I mean. one understands. Like, the show that everyone trashed me on, the NBC show, it- You're upset about this NBC show I know, for I'm some just reason, saying. Still. Well, that was just like, it was such a big wound Yeah, why? For me. Because it was, you're rich, dude. You fucking made it. I was you're so funny. Like who cares? I was sitcom s- suck, dude. I know. I was. Imagine so, you were doing a sitcom like for five years. Imagine was, you had just spent five years doing a sitcom. I was so like publicly. Hum- Everyone tried to like come at me so hard. Hollywood, because Hollywood hates me. That's the thing. Yeah, I get it. You know, they should. Everyone thinks I'm like Hollywood person, but but that goes back to why my hair is blue. I think uh-huh. the confluence of pandemic. Yeah. Uh, I realized that like Hollywood doesn't really fuck with me. I I don't play their game. I'm too tall. I'm too loud. I'm too nasal. I'm too um, ambitious. They don't like it. I Mm. want too much. Mm. Uh, I try too hard. Mm. They don't like it. Mm. So I don't get cast and stuff. I'm not like the girl next door. I'm not like the actress. Do you want to do that? I I don't. But I'm but I'm saying once. I, I, but I kept going like, oh, I got to pair up with this person and this amazing director and this yeah. amazing producer and like, they're going to legitimize me and, and then you and Rogan and pressuring me to do like podcasts and all that. And you're like, oh, I don't need any of that. And then once I realized, I was like, oh, I've just been living in a way to try to get the guy from high school to like me. Like I've been, or like daddy, yeah. I, it's like- It, it makes Holly, no sense. I, Hollywood I don't get is, anything Hollywood is daddy, daddy. Daddy, daddy, do you love me? Yeah. And I've been like, daddy, daddy, do you like me now? Do you like me now? Yeah. And I've been like- Am I getting invited to the party? I've been the standing cool by yeah. waiting to get picked. Fuck it. Keep, and then I was just like, fuck it, dude. Well, I dyed my hair because um, the, I mean, hair and makeup people are losing their- I mean, they're losing their health insurance. Yeah, so don't I, go a Tom Cruise thing right now. So Are I you said, gonna do the Tom Cruise uh, thing right now? I, Are you gonna go on a rant? Are you gonna do a Tom Cruise thing? I just, I said, what's the most expensive thing you can do? Do it. Really? Mm-hmm. Why? But you still made them work. You wouldn't just give them money for free. You were like, you're gonna work for it. Well, yeah, people, I don't think people want free money. Yes, they do. People wanna earn it. No, they want free money. Disagree. They want free money. Like people Disagree. don't go, I don't want free money. That Nobody said that ever. Mm-hmm. They're never like, we should not have free money. Have you ever given someone free money? Yeah. How'd it go? Uh, they accepted it. They're like, thank you very much. And for then the how'd money. your relationship with them go? go? They were a homeless person. They didn't They didn't have a home. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. So I have given people money, just here's money. Yeah. And then they hate you. It's only a matter of time before they start hating you. So that they don't have to pay you back. Well, because then you're like, you're this cloud hanging over their head. And every time they show up, it's like, oh, new sneakers? Okay. I thought uh, I'd buy groceries with that. So, but if you say, hey, dude, I would love for you to come like watch my dogs and house sit for me. And like this, and I holy I'm, shit! This is how you're charitable to your friends. Mm-hmm. You have them do you tasks. Have, they have to earn and it. Overpay them. You're they like LeBron to, James. Yes, they have to earn it. Oh, thank you. Is no, but good? that's what these athletes do. Like yeah. they make their friend like you know. You have to earn it. They want to earn like it. People oh, need. Oh my god. People need to have pride. Yes, that is right. And when you're right, you're when, right, dude. You're thank, right. Thank you. You're right. All 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 right. According to Hollywood, I am all right. When did you do anything that was all right? But you, no, I just, it's because I like defend jokes. People think I'm like, all right. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit absurd. We're going to plan your wedding and then we're going to forgive people. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> I Okay, so also the wedding is a. Yeah. We're, oh, we're, we're hiring an uh, elephant for the wedding. 
It's a cool thing. It's like I a, will actually. It's honestly, it's a cool thing. That will be what breaks us. I, Honestly, this is a tradition. It's like a very, like a Hindu tradition. My buddy Akash, who does podcasts with me, right, is my mm -hmm. best friend. You're not hiring an elephant. This is no. This is part of what they do. And do this bit. Do keep doing your bit. I'm. I'm not. It's not keep a bit. Keep doing your bit. We are hiring the elephant. I'll, I'll subtitle. I, I will subtitle this and post it. So, so <laughs> we come in on the elephant, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. instead of mm -hmm. instead of like the elephant, like bending down so we get off what happens is they just slice off each one of their legs mm -hmm. i hate talking about cancel culture it's it's stupid the fact that we acknowledge it is ridiculous yeah but it's fun it's like clickbaity and shit yeah but know? it's also it's just Whatever. like gossip it's high school gossip it's like we get dopamine and adrenaline from it and yeah like, we're what, sports reporters yes it's it's do you think there's any logic in cancel culture um online got worse when sports was taken away yeah i think everything got worse when sports was taken away in life in general yeah like, we lost our ability to have the roman Colosseum. yeah yeah what do they say give them bread and circus or something bread, like that. yeah yeah yeah. Uh, yeah uh i think that's it we need to you just need to give people accuse. enough to get by and then enough distraction yeah i think that's the reason why like people are so upset about what's happening right now specifically with lockdown it's just it's not if we just don't have enough things to do, mm -hmm. right? Like if they took away something else, if they limited our ability to do something that like didn't affect our distraction, we'd be okay. But eating out is integral in like so many people's yeah, lives. Yeah, like, it's a ritual. It For me, it's how I socialize. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not going to a fucking marquee, the nightclub, mm -hmm. right? Like I'm just going to go out to dinner with my boys mm -hmm. or go out to dinner with my girl. Mm -hmm. That's just what I do. Yeah. I, I don't even think, I don't even know how to socialize another way. I would go so far as like, if we're not at work, and socializing that way, mm -hmm. it's just food. Mm -hmm. Hey, you want to meet up and get some food? You want to meet and get some drinks? How did you know your girl was your girl? Um, the moment when did I know? Like, like I remember you said when uh, you were first talking about her, it was so different. Like I felt it. Like I, I knew. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like your guy friends, f platonic girlfriends, know mm -hmm. f first because mm -hmm. you talk different about her. Mm -hmm. And you said something. You were like. She, I was talking to her on the phone about something and she was like, oh, let's not talk about that now. So we have something to talk about when you get home. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah, it was something yeah, like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah, she, yeah. you were like so impressed that she was like siphoning out her, um, like, I want to have things to talk to you about like yeah. throughout our day, you know, yeah. and like what happens when we get there. And but, you were like proud of, you were like so impressed by that. Cause I remember yeah. like when we were first, um, becoming friends you were like there's no wives out there and it was like blew my mind yeah and uh i'm just i'm fascinated by why why when i mean for me uh, for me it was like I, I wanted somebody that i could feel when did you know a specific day i want to know yes well i was a bit of a coward at first why? because i was unsure that this thing existed yeah so i was like <clears throat> super concerned to like get in and fully kind of um commit, commit. I, I commit verbally to her right verbally like i was committed physically and emotionally before i was verbally committed because i had to go through this like trial period with my own mind okay. where i was just like okay i'm in a relationship but i'm not gonna tell her that how soon were you monogamous like how soon were you together i mean pretty early yeah i mean you like know, you kind of it, it pretty early i mean like for me i i just kind of wanted to hang out with her so there wasn't really any need to like hang out with other people mm -hmm. and then it just kind of happened organically it wasn't like a conversation where mm -hmm. she was like yo stop seeing people and i think like if you have to have that conversation specific, it, mm -hmm. yeah like i i think it does it, it happen, happens and yeah. it's, but it's, it doesn't have to happen like in the first second like i think if you're truly getting to know somebody mm -hmm. you don't know who they are are immediately no it takes years yeah years or it could take like, and by the way yeah they're growing and changing yeah so hopefully sure. you guys are gonna grow together yeah hopefully yeah. you're never gonna know who each other's are all the time because you're changing and growing yeah. and improving yeah. yeah but so yeah for me it was just like oh wow i really like sharing with this person mm -hmm. and i don't like that with everybody mm -hmm. and um you know, obviously she's beautiful and all these things but so like, it's a, but it's yeah. also like um sharing being able to share my I life think people forget really that love important. is like not about them how they feel about you it's about how you feel when you're with them yeah are and you then, the best version of yourself when you're with them uh, she, uh, you have nothing to prove i'm not performing i, I want to yeah i want to say yeah but then i'm also like the most disgusting person when i'm with her how so i mean i'll just i, just, I, I mean like you're pretty disgusting all the time. fucking pig like like how but i'm also 
What does that mean? <laughs> I just, I realize it. <laughs> I mean, like, can I tell the thing? Yeah. Like, I lost my sense of smell, mm -hmm. you know, obviously because of Corona. Mm -hmm. And um, I like, I'll scratch my butt a lot, like my hole, my actual butt, butt hole. hole yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and then usually I'll do like a little taste test, not taste test, a smell test. Mm -hmm. And I'll just, just to see if there's doodle on I my think fingers. I think everyone does that. Yeah, that's very normal. <laughs> But I lost my sense of smell. So I went for the smell and I forgot I lost my sense of smell. And I go, I was like, oh, that doesn't smell like shit at all. Mm -hmm. And then I go to spoon her and I cuddle her up. And then I just hear her go, <laughs> get off. What is that? Did you stuff your fist in your ass? <laughs> and and I, li I go, I don't know what happened. And like my whole hand just smelled like a shit. <laughs> and I literally had put it right under her nose, like dirty Sanchez almost. What? How, how many weeks or months? This is a month ago. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yes, yeah. Being that feeling like I not didn't have to like, you know, like put on anything. There's like a primal yeah. comfort. There's a comfort. There's also like a curiosity, and then like for me, what happened? You pee in front like, of each other. Yeah, yeah. Poop. She caught me wiping the other day, and that was too much. I, she, I don't. She caught me wiping. Like she Looking walked by. The door was open. Them. You look yeah. at your shit after. Uh, that was what you caught me doing. It wasn't wiping. It was it looking was, at it. it yeah. Funny. How do you know when it's done? You, you don't you look know when you it. wipe. Are you a fucking maniac? You just wipe and then think there's no poop left, and then walk around your I day. I feel. Well, I actually, I'm going to blow You're your mind. You're a crazy person. I'm, I'm going to blow your mind. Oh, my God. If I know that I'm going to have to have... Anal? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I knew you were Sometimes go I'll put my finger in my butthole and scoop out poop. Yeah, you have to go there. You got to go there. No, you got to go there. Push it back up. You push it back, you pack it in like a cigarette. You can just, like, scoop it out. You can go you, in and scoop it you out. You know when, like, people, like, pack <laughs> yeah, some yeah. Marlboro? Yeah, New, like Newports. <laughs> Newports. Cools. Cool. <laughs> we're, like, so the same. Me, yeah, you're my sis. Okay. You guys know that I'm an athlete. I do athletic things, okay? I drink athletic greens, which is the most comprehensive daily nutritional beverage I've ever had. They take all the guesswork out of trying to maintain effective nutritional habits because, listen, we're busy. We have a lot of things to do. We have TV shows to watch. We have busy schedules. We have a lot of sleeping. Sometimes we don't even do that good. It's too much work, so they take a lot of the guesswork out of it. They can help you because they're all in one. Superfood powders are your nutritional essentials. One tasty scoop of Athletic Greens, tasty, one tasty scoop of Athletic Greens contains 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients, including a multivitamin, multimineral, probiotic, green superfood blend, and more. They all work together to fill in the nutritional gaps in your diet, I have a lot, and increase energy and focus, aid in digestion, and support a healthy immune system, which is great because I know we're all sick of some stuff. That's wonderful. Simply visit athleticgreens.com slash Whitney and join health experts, athletes, and health conscious go-getters around the world who are making a daily commitment to their health every day. Daily and every day, guys. Again, simply visit athleticgreens.com slash Whitney and get your free year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs today. That's awesome. Listen, we all love coffee, I'm sure. I'm, that's a generalization, but it's the truth. And if you like coffee, you will adore Super Coffee, okay? It's an indulgent, healthy, ready-to-drink alternative to sugary coffee drinks. It's made to power you the entire day. It uses a combination of caffeine, healthy fats, proteins, and you don't have that jittery, gross, like, after caffeine filling. And, I mean, they have so many different products, too. Like, I know that I have the creamer. I have uh, the mochas, the espresso shots, the, the whole bean coffee, and they're Everyone that I've tried has been delicious. I'm obsessed with them. The Coconut Mocha Super Coffee Positive Energy Sweet and Creamy Beverage in the little tall can. It comes in a can. You can't see it, I know, but you can, like, Google it. It's wonderful. Wonderful. They're plant-based. There's zero sugar added. They're keto, which I know people are really into that. If that's, like, a keyword for you, you'll love this coffee. And we've worked out an exclusive deal for the Good For You podcast listeners where you can receive 25% off plus free shipping on any of Super Coffee's best-selling variety packs. This is a great way to try all their delicious flavors. Go to drinksupercoffee.com slash Whitney and use the code Whitney at checkout to claim this deal. That's D-R-I-N-K-S-U-P-E-R. C-O-F-F-E-E dot -E com slash Whitney. Super Coffee is also available nationwide in over 25,000 stores like Target, Whole Foods, Walmart, Kroger, and CVS. Okay, well, I guess I should have knew about it earlier then. I don't know why, how I missed it. It's wonderful. Go get it. So here's it. So for me, it was like, it was that. And then also weird things started to happen where like things that I was like super specific about. Mm -hmm. Like 
I had like these idiosyncrasies, you know, like I was really not, I did not like certain things. Tell me, example. <sighs> like, uh, like uh, no toenail polish. On women? Like I like polish on the nails. Okay. And when it was just flesh, it was like gross to me. And then, you don't like toenail polish. No, no, I do like toenail polish. You need the toenail polish. Oh yeah, yeah. The, yeah. When it's the toenails are fucking nasty. But here's the thing. So I'm like, I need that's a thing. I need. Are you to into be. toes? My feet, I like feet a lot. Full boomerang. Yeah, yeah, I like feet. I don't like doing anything sexual with them. I just think it's a pretty part of the female body. Yeah. Yeah. That's a. Um, there's an interesting. Um, yeah, it's like the brain is like the foot part is right next to the sex part or something. So the wires. There's get also crossed. a um, uh, theory that uh, when we're babies and we're crawling around mm -hmm. and our moms walked barefoot around. We ah, that's interesting. Where you ask your mom if she was barefoot a lot walking around, and you're crawling and seeing her toes. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah, that might be a case. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's possible. Anyway, so yeah, like I just started noticing things that like I used to think I really cared about, and then all of a sudden, like I didn't really care that much. Mm -hmm. I it was it became like yes or no mm -hmm. to like eh, preference. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh, shit. I thought this was like a hard line well, for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. The things that I used to think were hard and fast rules are now suddenly They're flexible. They're malleable. And then I'm like, oh, they were malleable. never hard and fast rules. He tries rules. to pretend to be stupid as like his... I don't think you have a shtick. But you like to pretend you're stupid for some reason. I think you malleable need, is a stupid word. I think you need to release it. Is malleable stupid, that word? No, it's a big word. That's big for you? If I said malleable, you would... Clown on me. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. When you said didactic. Why is didactic any, that's tantamount. I want to, I want that to is... pour that coffee on your head. When you said didactic, I want to take it and then turn it upside Try down me. on your Try, head. Come up I'm with a word gonna... I won't know. Um, kind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm kind. I'm teasing. Defend it uh, straight. Defend it straight? Defend it straight. Defend it straight. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? Uh, Use it in a sentence. Uh, the Pentagon is the defenestrate of the United States of America. <laughs> <laughs> the, but, do you think you'll run for office? No, never. I okay. think it's. I think politicians I wouldn't either. are stupid. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I wouldn't either. I think you can move culture the, way better without being in politics. Concur, but I think that the people that won't run should run. Yes, mm -hmm. hundred percent. And I think if you want, if there is a point about cancel culture mm -hmm. that you want to bring up that isn't just like us comedians crying that we can't do jokes, I think that you'll never have. Well, not never, but like. You're not going to have the right person for the job mm -hmm. to be president mm -hmm. because they're going to go through their lives and find out they said something rude to somebody in 1990 yeah, yeah, yeah. and then that's going to make them complete. They're going to completely eviscerate their character. They're going to mm -hmm. make them so radioactive that they're like, I don't even want to be part of this. Mm -hmm. And I think that now we're just going to get like Mike Pence's of the world, right, who just are clean, but you're clean. So you got no flavor. You know, Trump was an anomaly in that regard. He was just like, yo, yeah, I, I'm a fucking piece of shit. What's up? Is Trump going to go on Brogan? I think he, he should. Should he? A hundred percent he should. One hundred percent. Yeah. You don't want to hear him talk when he's like, got nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. You don't want to hear him just fucking talk that shit. Is he going to run again? He's old. I don't think so. It's too much. Yeah. It's too much. Yeah. You got to listen to this Silvio Berlusconi thing. He's good? Mm -hmm. He's the man? He he basically, Silvio is Berlusconi, prime minister of Italy. Like mm -hmm. he- He's the mafia guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Every- uh, Did he believe a in- A dart just hits me in the neck. Mm. If people believe in what they say, mm -hmm. well, I mean, not all people, obviously, you can take this out of context, whatever, but like if people really believe in their shit and they truly believe like what they're doing is like, is the right thing and helping, mm -hmm. Um, there's a little bit more respect for that, even if you disagree with it. When you, somebody's like a grifter, they're just latching onto a movement so that they can like gain yeah. power, like mm -hmm. popularity or fame. Mm -hmm. Then I'm just repulsed by you and you're disgusting. Should podcasts be funny or interesting? I think the funniest stuff is interesting. Mm -hmm. Like to me, the best conversation is a serious one that then veers off to funny. Mm -hmm. You know, like, like we'll have on our podcast, Flagrant 2, right? Like we'll have these conversations that are like start in a serious place and then they just become the most absurd, crazy mm -hmm, conversation. Tangent, yeah. yeah, and then that's the funny to me. But mm -hmm. like, because if it's all just like slapstick, is, after a while, it's just like it's stupid. Is there anything that you've, that you're like, oh, hope that doesn't start getting- A trend? Circulated. Oh, like of mine? Like a clip. I'm sure, I'm sure I've said, I mean, like I've talked like old podcasts. Uh, for me, it's more unfunny old, jokes ah, yeah, of yeah, my yeah, old yeah, stand up. Yeah, 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 like yeah. my first Carson Daly set. I was fortunate enough to like not have those opportunities. 
<laughs> I was fortunate enough to get rejected by Hollywood early. Yeah. So I, so I don't have to. It's hundred so, percent. You're, you're actually kind of clean. Yeah. In, in well, that not, way, not clean, but like I'm clean from like my worst shit. Right, because I started putting out my stuff, and obviously I'm only going to put out the what I felt was the best at the time. Mm -hmm. Now there might be some way earlier clips where I'm like, "This wasn't good," but like I waited so long to put things out because I was like, "Oh, maybe I'll get an opportunity this year. Maybe I'll get mm -hmm. an opportunity this year." And then eventually I was like, "She's like, fuck it." But by then mm -hmm. I'm not two years in putting out clips. Mm -hmm. I'm ten years in, mm -hmm. ready to go. And that one hour that took me ten years to build is like really sharp. So I'm not as concerned about that. Who's the funniest comic working? Working? Mm -hmm. uh, funniest comic. The funniest comic. Funniest comic ever is Patrice O'Neill. Mm -hmm. The funniest comic working right now. When he wants to be funny. Would Patrice be funny now? Yeah, he'd be the best. Of course. Not, not a question. Patrice is the goat to me. And it's not even like a close conversation. Mm -hmm. I think. To me. It's like but a, for the type of comedy I like. Yeah, yeah. He's the Floyd. He's the Floyd. Mm -hmm. 100%. 100%. I mean, if Chappelle wants to be funny... Mm -hmm. If he wants to turn the switch on, I think he's the funniest mm -hmm. right now, probably. Yeah. But um, what is this new trend where comics now have to be vulnerable and serious and political and sincere? Yeah, I don't know. I, I, we gotta Why ask. We you gotta funny. ask Dave about that. You should talk to him about that. Yeah. Like what? What the point of it is? Uh -huh. Like I don't know. What do you think it is? I don't know. I don't. I just. I don't want to lecture anyone. Yeah. Person me personally, I just. I don't. I don't. I want people when they see click on me they know they're gonna get santa claus it's gonna be yeah. surprising and funny and silly and dumb and interesting and yeah. like like a um remember those uh, uh cracker jack boxes where there's a prize yeah like i just want to do that yeah you're a cracker jack box thank you yeah yeah, yeah. cracker <laughs> uh, are we allowed to say cracker yeah oh, okay he's okay I asked, yeah i asked the black person in the room but that's our word <laughs> That's our word. Yeah, well, he I'm can't say it. I'm taking it back, honky. Yeah, you're a honky. <laughs> Dude, I got to start calling white girls honkies. You know about That's redneck. That's hysterical. Redneck. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, this honky cut me off the other day. Dude. Dude, honky's, honky's back. Honky's back. Yeah, we got to do honky. That's such a, like, we need to bring honky back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this is great. Honky's Like in. this, I love ed yeah. uh, etymology shit like that, like redneck. And hillbilly, yeah. you know, like redneck actually, I don't know where it was, where I said redneck on something and um, they were asking me about cutting it. And I was like, no, redneck actually, like, what do you think redneck means? Redneck means. Person working in the fields and their neck was red because Why? of the sun. The sun. Interesting. Yeah. What it actually was is uh, the coal miners in West Virginia at the Battle of Blair Mountain, mm -hmm. uh, they wore red handkerchiefs and it was an uprising mm. against the coal mining industry corporations yeah. and it was the second biggest battle after the civil war Whoa. in american history yeah. in west virginia so redneck is actually a um symbol of pride a strong motherfucker that challenged you're a redneck fought back against dude authority. you're a redneck yeah yeah, yeah. like redneck. full on full on redneck that then kind of like partnered up with the corporations only yeah yeah i mean and i'm just it's if you don't someone else will if you don't someone else will if you don't someone else will as long as we're partnering up on my terms i'm with it who cares and also um hillbilly mm -hmm. please watch the documentary on hulu by ashley york okay mm -hmm. it's what is it it's about the word hillbilly and because you know james corden i went on james corden's show mm -hmm. you know like a what you know because of the numbers. Yeah, huge, massive. <laughs> Is he Be nice? Like, what's his deal? Like, I don't get. It. Um, I think he's really nice, and lo he he was a theater actor. Yeah. And. But he just wants to make Americans laugh. Like, what's I think his the goal? business there's something weird. Like, I get. What's the? I don't get. It. I, I like explain to me. Like, I don't have any like urge. Like, I don't mm -hmm. have to. Like, I need to move to Sweden and make. I think you just have night. to be sixty. So it's just money. They just want money, right? Well, I think that there's. You know, like I, I just I'm trying to understand. I it, did like, Kelly Clarkson there. Have you when you go to the vet, something's playing. Yeah. Uh, there, you know, when you go to the doctor, there's a TV. Mm -hmm. When you go to the DMV, there's a TV playing. It's Ellen. Yeah. It's Kelly Clarkson. Yeah. It's just kind of like it's just it's candy. Yeah. It's just candy. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah. That's all it is. It's innocuous. But what is the like the driving force? Like, the driving force like, 
but nine. I'm not trying to plug the special we made. I'm, that's not what I'm trying to it's do. It's doing fine. It's doing don't fine. Watch it. Don't, Honestly, don't, don't watch it. Honestly, don't watch it. Don't watch it. You guys don't need to watch it. It's fine. Don't worry. It's training number one without you. So it's, yeah, not, just, it's <laughs> no big deal. It's not, not, honestly, it's really not a big deal. But like the driving force, like when we were gearing up to make it, I was looking at um, the Sagrada Familia. Do you know what that is? No. This is Gaudi's Cathedral in Barcelona. I used okay. to live in Barcelona. And I would just look at images of it, images of what it's going to look like when it's finished. And I would look at just these like images and I go through it nonstop, right? Wow. And I was like, that is a masterpiece. This is a masterpiece. He died and it's still going to take another 50 years or 60 years after his death to complete it. But that's a masterpiece, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm going, when I when I, we have the opportunity to make this show, I'm like, it needs to be a masterpiece. Like it needs to be so different and so incredible. And every little facet of it, facet of it needs to be amazing, right? Okay. I, I, I'm not even thinking about like the financial part of it, right? That's not my motivation. Uh -huh. I just like, how do we make a masterpiece? Yes. Right? Da Vinci. Da Vinci. You have Italian ancestry. You must. Maybe. Everybody thinks I am whatever they are. But that's just what it was. Projection. Meant, right? Yeah. I guess. But my point is like, I, I, I don't understand. So I guess the people that are making those kind of shows, what is their driving force? It's just like, I want a bigger house. Like. Which is fine too. I, if you want to get money, that's great. I just don't understand what it is. I think like, it's addiction. So fame. To I be think liked, that I think that yeah. we the what's left out of this conversation, and yeah. it was like frustrating me when I was listening to you and Joe talk, is like no one talks about addiction. We are all addicted to something. Okay, so it's like we happen to have lucrative addictions, but we don't happen to. We worked very hard. But to funnel what we need into something that we love because doing. Because our dopamine receptors didn't hold dopamine the same way as other people unless we got an adrenaline turns into dopamine and we're adrenaline addicts. Okay. Right? Maybe. So we were maybe <laughs> fucking dick. Um, <laughs> as, as Joe would say, it's entirely possible. As someone who. It's entirely possible. Made the you female know? brain. Yeah. Which Andrew was in and stole the movie and tested very highly. <laughs> Completely stolen, dude. One scene. <laughs> Dude, I will never forget when you went, you went up to Blake Griffin and you guys were improvising and you went, you smell like a pet store. I used that same reference the other day. That's so funny. It was just like, you smell like a pet store. Yeah. Because it's a visceral smell, right? Like It's so specific. You know exactly what it is. You know, it's like... Yeah. You're like you smell like a salmon. Like I, there was, <laughs> there was like a there was it was so it, I remember being in post being like how do we make this pick? Yeah, yeah. How do we pick? I thought you guys did a great job. Uh, I have a I'm doing a Q and A on. So I really? love that that movie that movie's like getting weirdly big now. Really, it was on planes every time I'm on a plane. I see it. That's so funny. And I was like, oh wow, this is probably do you, I mean does that big money to be on planes? Uh. Uh, not for me, but maybe the financiers. Oh, you weren't the financier? No. Really? No, I didn't get paid. I, I put in about 50 grand to that movie. And you didn't make anything out of it? Don't you get paid back as one of the no. financiers? No, no, no. 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 What, what's going on here? No. I, lose, I lost money on that. Respect. That was an investment. To that was show people, yo, I got this. Labor I could of do this. love. Well, no, I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I did it. I, I, we had 14 days. A couple of my friends have gone Q and on. Yeah. And watching it, I watch yeah. them and I go to their Instagrams and yeah. I watch for the thing. <sighs> Righteous. Mm. Like there's it's worse a, things to join it's, than like it's a group own of people. Religion. That wanna, it's its own religion. Yeah, but like there's worse religions out there. Like mm -hmm. they literally are like, we should stop pedophiles. Like they're not the worst people. But yeah. a lot of people who are in attracted to that were sexually abused yeah that's why they're drawn to it of exactly. course yeah i'm just saying like we and you know in the special we have like a piece about QAnon, but like i'm very empathetic mm -hmm. like when we wrote it we're like i think we should kind of like understand these people and not just make fun of them they're, oh trust me yeah you know, and because one there's no way you're going to get them out of it mm -hmm. right and let two, them have their anesthesia either let them have their anesthesia or don't act like it's ridiculous to believe some of the things they believe like clearly there's pedophiles, like uh -huh. clearly there's corruption, like uh -huh. you, the baseline beginning for it is not in any way inconceivable. What do we do about the whole pedophile, like? The problem is when it becomes, what happened is it kind of became like white people's BLM in a way, like the people that didn't support BLM, they kind of went Q 
And I mm-hmm. think it was because they felt like they were missing out on a movement to help people that weren't them. Mm-hmm. But they didn't Helping side. people is an addiction. Yes. You know? And you feel, feel righteous. You, self-righteous indignation. Taking down pedophiles. Everyone, everyone yeah. wants to be a hero. Yeah. It's heroic. We've been trained. We've it's been heroic. trained. We watch Superman. We watch, we, everyone wants to be a hero. It's, yeah. it's like the I abortion it. thing. It's like the abortion yeah. thing. It's like these people that are pro-life. Yeah. They think they're saving babies. Cause yeah. Cause they think they are babies, saving babies to them. They're saving babies. Yeah. We agree. Yeah. We are on the same side. Yeah. We neither of us want to kill babies. Correct. Correct. Yeah. I agree with you. Yes. We're the same. Yeah. 100%. You're fucking awesome. Yeah. It's it's not an evil human being. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah, it's a pretty like righteous thing. I think I we did a YouTube piece when we were doing the show for like Instagram and YouTube. Uh-huh. And we just did like we were making fun of like Epstein and Ghislaine and shit. And um the reaction to it was great, but there was also this reaction like, yo, thank you for talking about these things. It was a, it wasn't just funny, it was like, you're really doing the right thing. And I and I was like, Oh, that's how people can kind of get caught in this vacuum. Mm-hmm. Is they're getting these pats on the back for being like a good human being. Mm-hmm. And that's intoxicating to someone who's yeah. never had like positive support or reward. So I could see how you get caught up in it. You with the giraffe thing to yeah. go back to that. That's you. You're something... a QAnon for giraffes. You're a you're a QAnon for animals. I'm you're an Al-Anon. animal. Q. Um, you're what? Alanon. What is that? That's my twelve step program. I'm in. You don't drink? No. Uh, Alanon is for uh, adult children of alcoholics. Adult children of alcoholics. Mm-hmm. If you grew up and your parents were alcoholics. Yeah, but everybody's parents were alcoholics. I know. For alcohol. <laughs> yes. Those parents weren't alcohol. Correct. Yeah. And for alcohol to be present, alcoholism to be present, alcohol doesn't have to be present. So it could be crafting, cleaning, cooking, perfectionism, control. You yeah. know, there's lots of addiction. Sex. Yeah. You know, I yeah. grew up around a lot of sex addiction, a lot of, you know, that shit. Um, why, why are you throwing me off track? You were giraffes. You're giraffe on. Oh, um... That's the thing with giraffes. Why? Keep going. You're a giraffe anon. You want to save the giraffes. Keep going. It's a righteous thing to save the giraffes. Oh, no. God complex. Yeah. So there's something called founder syndrome. Mm. So a lot of people that start... Sh- the- how many syndromes do you know? <laughs> like, uh, how many could you name? Like, if you just had to just start naming syndromes, like, I got one. What are your notes on my podcast? Down. How can I be better at this? The only one I got. Am I bombing this? No. You're great. You are great because you just have the personality for it. Like people, you don't realize this about yourself or maybe you're just realizing it, but like people enjoy you. Like Emma, I don't even like saying your name, but I've said your name on this, right? Jesus. I think I have, right? She didn't ask for Can we this. we give her a fake name? Angelica. That's what they, I protect her because she didn't ask for it. She doesn't want the attention. So it's like, I'm not going to put that on her. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. But, um, but like she doesn't listen to podcasts. She'll watch your clips on Instagram. She'll like share your clips on Instagram. She just finds you funny. Mm-hmm. People find you funny. They enjoy you. They want to be around you. Why do you seem so shocked? You're shocked. <laughs> you are shocked mm-hmm. by it. I don't understand. That's probably why you didn't do it for so long. That's what, in my mind, that's why I imagine you didn't do it for so long. Mm-hmm. You're probably like, oh, well, people aren't going to like me if I'm just talking. I have to like script something perfectly. I know. Yeah, like yeah, me. yeah. I have a uh, like, well, I think you don't get funny by thinking you're funny. Yeah. You have to, I have a constitute, like in my, well, my, I have a, I have a theory on that. I have like a cellular, uh, fear of being boring. So you overcompensate by being like really entertaining. I think, uh, well, everyone was drunk growing up. You had to be entertaining. You had to keep everybody happy. And I was yeah. always the party play. I got to get, keep everybody up. You're good. We're good. Yeah. You got to read the room. You got to be a shapeshifter. Mm. Oh, you want me to shine? You want me to not shine? You have to like be able to be a chameleon. You have to be mm. able to like, what do you need? How do I, oh, you need a drink? Oh, no, too many drinks? One more? Like you just yeah. have to kind of. Referee an, everything. Be an octopus. Yeah. 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 And that's, and then you're a comedian and then you're a heckler heckler but i get it you have to feel everyone's energy all the time these this couple's fighting this is a bad marriage yeah. this is a bad date yeah these are brothers they're tourists i mean one time i had this crazy thing i was on the, in the or um uh like a couple years ago and there was this guy in the front and i looked at him and i was like you look like you're from like copenhagen he's like I'm from Copenhagen. <laughs> it was like we we do have this kind of ability to, um, whether it's inherited or whatever, to like feel people. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, we're sensitive. Yeah, to what incredibly hyper vigilant, sensitive. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, it's. I think it's the most valuable asset for a comic is not like being sensitive to like somebody's word, but like how somebody feels. Mm-hmm. Like, I I like feeling how the room mm-hmm. is, and like you have to. It's a superpower because yeah. you're getting. Yeah. You're. It's not hurting sheep. It's you're hypnotizing. I mean, you're getting. It's so funny. I was trying to write. It's hurting attention. It's not like the actual people, but like it's hypnosis. It's mass hypnosis. Yeah, it's not hypnosis because like hypnosis means like you're not in control, but like it's putting people in a situation where you know how much patience they'll give you, and then trying to, for me at least, trying to stretch that patience as far as you can because. Mm the biggest laugh is going to come at the very tip of that patience, mm-hmm. right? It's like, I can wait, I can tension, wait, I tension. can wait, I can wait, yeah. And then if you make right. you wait too long, it's like, all right, I'm getting a little bored waiting But now. then it's like, they kind of know the formula now, so I got to switch it up. Yeah, and hit them fast. You yeah. also have to know, it's basketball. I mean, that's basketball. Yeah. That's that boxing. embarrassing how I just played outside. Andrew I, is terrible at basketball. No, 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 no. I was very good at basketball growing up. And I think we've just been practicing in the studio. We have this little basketball hoop, and it, I, it looks I, like I'm making excuses. You can, there's nothing you can say. All right, I, I, I mean, this I am is just. I, this I, I went, it was like honestly, I felt like I have. A, I, I have it a was uncomfortable. Can I say something? I felt uncomfortable. I feel uncomfortable now. I, I, I told you a story about where I have shit on my fingers, and I didn't know. Did not feel uncomfortable. Now I feel uncomfortable. I feel I'm hot. <laughs> I feel so uncomfortable right now because it was, no, you, this is part I, of our masculinity. We can't, we can't let her, uh, her no, Emma no. see this. No, no, video. that's why she came later. I was like, I need to get some warm up in. And then, it was like a like. I mean, it was bad. It was short every single time. I mean, no, it was, it was like it was like a granny. It was really bad. Why are you trying to ruin everything? It was some it was roller very, ball shit. It was not good at all. But here's the thing: <laughs> this is a fear of mine. Mm-hmm. I hate baseball. Okay. You don't hate anything. Uh, you're right, but it's just better to be more passionate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if we speak reasonably about our feelings, it's boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah. I have a lukewarm opinion <laughs> of baseball, right? Like, you know, I here's why I fuck with baseball. Oh, God. Here it's the most boring sport on the planet. Okay. But I like that you could be like 40 and fat. Yeah, and eat. <laughs> You can consume food I like during the, it. Yeah, I yeah. like these old, like, yeah, just yeah. racist fat dudes playing ball. Like, yeah. they play one every four games. That's it. Yeah, just hang like, out. Like, it's just such a ridiculous. Yeah. It's so dumb. It's absurd. But I have a fear that if I don't continue to practice throwing a ball, uh-huh. that when I have my child and I want to play catch with him. Her. Or her. They. Them. Zim. Elliot. Elliot. <laughs> when I'm playing catch with Elliot, mm-hmm. right? I'll throw like a girl if I don't continue to work the arm. There is a, and can I tell you, I think podcasting. Terrifying. Seeing a dad play catch with his kid and throwing like a girl. Whew. There is a whew. imprinted in us yeah. is the need to pass. Grab her boobs? Did you see that? I do that. <laughs> I know I do it, it sometimes. Is that how, is that how you I also, think? You're no, like, what's also, the word? Look, and then you just squeeze look, it. I, also, <laughs> I had a mole removed. Oh. And I have like a bandage. So, <laughs> what was what was the mole? Your tits is going like this. What's that? Do you know that? What? Super, come on, guy. What Life is it? Star. What is it? What like happened? She smells her armpits. Oh, I always do. Oh God, guys, 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 <laughs> guys, do. stop it with they this. They smell awful, which means I don't have COVID, and you can't smell it anyway. I stopped using deodorant, even though the aluminum thing, a doctor just told me that's bullshit. Yeah, of course, they're not putting aluminum in deodorant. Yeah. Why do they do that? Aluminum is expensive. Um. <laughs> It's not. <laughs> Did you taste it? Did I look down? No, I don't taste. I don't fingers? taste. I've tasted boogers before, but not my. Yeah, of course. Duh. Um, I do have bo, but I just it's fine. None of you were platonic. Okay. Where were we? Yet Dove could crack those cheeks wide open. Did you see my, the new <laughs> <laughs> exercise I'm doing to get a big butt? Wait a minute. But do what you, about did Dove? you mute Dove. me? What the fuck? What did, I did mute you, you mute me? Yeah, I muted you. Jesus Christ. No, I didn't mute you. Why? Because Do I not I've comment been, on your oh, thing? Or my uh, uh, stories. You don't watch my stories. I do watch your story. I told him that we have the same dermatologist. So, oh. Dr. Lancer. You go to Dr. Lancer? Yes, I have forever. Dr. Lancer is my like dad slash side piece. But I saw your your butt jiggling thing in your Yeah. Your... I did um I started doing this machine that jiggles your exercises your butt for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that it's equivalent to 20,000 squats. Okay. So get ready. 
Dove. Dove. <laughs> Get ready after this. What after we after we co? Let me tell you something. That thing is cracking back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she might crack you wide open with that thing, Dove. Okay. Bop bop bop. Didn't bop, I say bop 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 to her? On the first episode that I came on here, did you listen tricky. to that? Tricky. Oh. It's you, tricky. You can also do it on your abs as well. I don't know. Yeah, I've seen it. So that I did that thing. Yeah. Um, it was good though. But I, uh, the wedding, no, what was the, where were we? Um, you were saying that the Netflix special is a masterpiece. And, uh, <laughs> it, was just, it was unbelievable. And, this uh, has been such a like smooth feels jazz. rollout. Yeah. Oh, wait, for the special? I thought you were talking about us. Yes, like that this, too. This Us. podcast. Yeah. Yeah. We you have meant... some kind of weird thing. No, it's just comfort, dude. Yeah. It's all good. I know. Remember it's gonna... when we did that podcast with Neil Brennan, how awkward that was? No, I thought it was really funny. Oh, when really? The... Yeah. I thought I left there being like, oh, I bombed that. No. Mm -hmm. I thought it was I felt like those I clips were great. I feel like I disappointed you. Inside jokes. No, you, no, you were great. It was fun. But I think what it is, it's like, you, like when you're when you're around somebody who's like, oh, it's gonna be funny. Mm -hmm. You're just not that stressed, and then when yeah. you're not stressed, it ends up being funny. Yeah. But you know yes. when you're like carrying the weight of someone, yes. you're like, oh fuck, I gotta have. What's the next question? How do I do it? Yeah, and you're trying to impress other. That's the thing about comedians is like, what's so funny about podcasts is we don't, we we're not fake with each other. Everyone thinks we don't. We're not funny when we're together. This is the only time we don't have to be funny. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, this is yeah. we're off duty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're off duty now. We get to be. Yeah. It's like oh, f a comedian. I get to finally be fucking serious. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I sucked at podcasting because I was like, I feel like I'm boring as shit because no, I'm no, talking no. to Bill Burr. I'm not going to do bits for Bill Burr. Yeah. I'm not yeah. going to bomb in my in front of two people. Yeah. In front of Bill, Burr. like I've yeah. done that before in the fucking belly room. Yeah. Did you watch the Comedy Store documentary? No. Was it really good? I. I don't, doesn't matter. Were you in it? I was. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And what, what what happened? It's, you'll just watch it and I'd love to see what you think. Do I have to watch it? No. Okay. No. With no. all, you know, I mean like. You don't watch anything, huh? Not really. It's hard. I don't like watching comedy stuff. Yeah. I just like. Oh wait, the other funny myself. comedian you never told me. Patrice, and then you said <coughs> there was one more that was coming. The funniest comic? Mm -hmm. Or and, just like, if you were like, gun to your head. Yeah. Who's the funniest Who's special? Sh fucking someone in, is like gun to your head. I mm -hmm. I need someone to make me laugh. Which special should I watch? And Ooh, I better, a special. I better fucking laugh. A special. Or a have comic to have a special. or a thing. What's gonna make me fucking laugh? Gun to your head. There's a comic. He's a he's a trans comic. Robin Tran. No, he's a uh, he's his name is Mark Gagnon. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And he is gun to your head. You will laugh. Okay. 100%. Guaranteed. Okay. Guaranteed. Okay. Brilliant. Like I mean, not me. comics are we're dead inside. So brilliant. Yeah. No, no, no. Honestly, unbelievable. I had to. Yeah. Nikki Glazer was here the other day. And I don't I, know if he has any stuff out, uh -huh. but he literally, he just created and wrote this Netflix thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's really, it's fucking unbelievable. People are saying it's like Sagrada Familia. <laughs> like, Wait, is this the thing that's the, we're... Are you? That's Mark. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Okay. I didn't. <laughs> why prank me? Why? <laughs> why? Why? By the way, bitch, you love acting. You love acting. No, I you don't love. You love acting. Okay. You love Here's... it. Acting's corny. All you fucking do is act. Live experience. Wait. Live experience. You want a comic live? This is going to be a- Ragnon is your last name? <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking, what, what, what's that? No, it's, it's, it's Gagnon. Gagnon? Gagnon? Yeah. Like Gagnon. Gangnam style? Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Korean last name. Yeah, it's... <laughs> what is that? What's, I've never heard that. No, Gagnon, it's French. It's French Canadian. Gagnon. Gagnon. Yeah. 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 From Montreal. Yuck. <laughs> but he's very funny. Concur. Yeah. Big fan. One of the biggest Korean comedians out there. Huge. Yeah. Yeah. Massive mm -hmm. in Korea. Mm -hmm. Massive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're fucking dying over what, there. What like makes you laugh? Huh? What makes you laugh? Honestly? Mm -hmm. Um, this is this is like if it the thing that probably makes me laugh the most, mm -hmm. like if somebody I know really well mm -hmm. is like clearly like pretending. <laughs> to impress somebody that shit 
I just fucking <laughs> even thinking dude, about it made me laugh. <laughs> dude, I, dude, there's a guy <laughs> who so might weird. be he might be in this room, but he might not be. <laughs> and one time we were at a nightclub. He might have directed this special on Netflix right now. He might have, and uh, he might have done that. He might be the director. And um, one time we were at this like club in L.A. <laughs> and there's this girl that he was hitting on, and this girl is like a legit six foot girl. Right, very attractive, six foot girl, and this guy, he's I'm saying like on a good day, five ten, good day, <laughs> good day, pair of Timberlands, okay, wedge heel, wedge heel, wedge heel, a wedge heel <laughs> of five ten, right? But this guy had found that's the place is Delilah, you know Delilah, Delilah's, Delilah's, whatever. He found a place where there was a tiny step in Delilah's, uh -oh. and it was, and it was, yep, yep, <laughs> and it was. By the way, that's what Scientologists do. They always have to be taller a than you. A little bit. Well, yeah, yeah. So he's, Tom Cruise will some... like set, stand on a curb and wear platforms. Exactly. So he found a little step, and I watched him mm -hmm. move the conversation over to the step, so he could be taller. And then <laughs> step on the step, and then he had one foot on the step, and the other foot is literally <laughs> pointed down and drag it, barely touching the floor of the line. Barely touching. <laughs> And he is spitting game and balancing for his life. Like he'd make her laugh, and she'd like she'd like bump his shoulder, and he'd literally like sway, he'd sway, he'd just sway back and forth like a grandfather clock. <laughs> so to me, there is nothing funnier than like catching a friend of mine, close friend of mine, like doing something, like faking something. <laughs> Faking something to impress somebody else, I will fucking cry. I will cry laughing. At oh them. god! Yeah, like if, if watching watching your friend act. Yeah, <laughs> watching a friend act is the best thing in the world. I can't stop laughing. I just I just howl laughing. I would fall on the ground and roll around on Fuck. the ground. That is so funny. Yeah, it's uh, it's like my what's the day. things? Okay, so that's made me laugh. What made me laugh? Uh, Benton came over one day mm -hmm. uh, to try to cheer me up when I was in a tight spot, uh -huh. uh, dressed as a bee. That's hot. I seen that outfit. And he got stung by a bee. Hilarious. <laughs> Well, hilarious. why he was in the, the, and then he tried to quit he was like i quit i quit i'm not doing this anymore and he tried to quit and i wouldn't let him quit hilarious <laughs> i mean that is that was like i was like crying crying laughing and yeah. then another time <laughs> the the last time i <laughs> the artist i've laughed recently is um my you know my first job was a uh uh my first stand-up set was on a show called last call with carson daly yeah 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 I and, did that show. And then I was a writer. Oh, I got you that job. You did? Fuck, dude. Thank you, man. My manager said that he did it. Fuck. <laughs> I had no clue you did that. I can't believe. That's so funny. He took total credit for you that. You didn't know that. Yeah, I had no clue. I had no clue. That's amazing. That's what they'll do. It's okay. I fired him. Wow. Thank you. What is better you. than like the fucking family when yeah. comics like support each other yeah i'm surprised you didn't ask for the credit you must have thought i was a douche not saying thank you i don't i don't need the credit yeah i cool. want the funny people to win i don't it, everybody yeah i just feel it doesn't help do you know I mean yeah managers push unfunny people yeah comics only comics know who's funny yeah who are these bookers that decide yeah. who's funny it just doesn't make any sense they used to have like a system where they could just do that there was the like a guy that went to advertising school who would pick a, yeah the comics yeah but that used to work because the system like the structure was so perfect that like you could put almost anybody in it and they had all the power like the people that just should have the power just like some random person on the street they should go to a comedy club and just go like, do you, who do you think's funny? They do now. Look at us. Like, like a stranger. Yeah, strangers decide. Strangers have always decided. Now we just have the ability to get to the strangers. The last time I laughed so hard is um, I had a Thanksgiving and uh, that was my first job. I was a writer on that show. Yeah. So I was also pitching comics to Nicole Yaron, yeah. Booker, um, who now does the fucking voice and she's just a beast. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> she goes, um, I was like, remember when Carson Daly used to wear a Livestrong bracelet? <laughs> And she goes, oh, he still does. Today. No. <laughs> Carson Respect. Daly. Respect. Today. Does he still paint two nails? Still. He painted two of his nails. Was that a thing? Yeah. He still wears a Livestrong bracelet. You got to love it. On the Today Show. But yeah, like, why did we stop caring about cancer? Coney 2012? I paid for that. <laughs> swear to God. I got the DVDs and everything. Swear to God on my life. Coney 2012. I swear to God, I got the DVDs and everything. What was that? Everything. 
Joseph Kony was a like evil dictator in some African country, mm -hmm. and um, some kids in San Diego decided that it was uh, up to them to get him the fuck out of here. So they put out some video, maybe it was on YouTube or something uh, like that. I don't know where sure. I saw it. it was on YouTube. Sure. And um, they're like, you can go support and we're going to raise all this money. And I fucking, it worked. And I was like, I got to fight the good fight. And then that kid, I think they made him go crazy. He randomly was just running naked in San Diego, butt naked. And then they shut that whole thing down. But I literally think, and I'm not like the big conspiracy guy, but like, uh, I think the, the American government was like, yo, too many people want us to do something we don't want to do. Yeah. So let's get rid of this leader. Let's just make him look like a maniac. And he was found running butt naked in San Diego. And then after that, they just shut the whole thing. And down. then where did the money, was our, where, where'd your money go? I don't know. But I got like stickers. We were putting the stickers up. It's really wild how we are such, what is that? schools of fish what is it when you yeah i think i was a little bit more i think i was a uh, i think i was that but the contrarian version we're so emotional yeah but like so there's some people that like just gravitate towards what everybody's doing mm -hmm. and i went through this phase where like i equally gravitated to the opposite of what everybody was doing me too. Uh, yeah i'm like that right so it's like i was equally always uh, devil's advocate yeah always devil's advocate but i I thought that I was being like unique and different, but I was equally a lemming just in the opposite direction. I was easily manipulatable. So like it mm -hmm. took me a while to kind of go, oh no, you should actually pick the direction you go. Yeah. And, yeah. and it's also, I think the days of like, if you, it, it used to be when people disagreed, it was an interesting conversation. Mm. And now you're like an asshole. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I just, this is why yeah. I don't fuck with people that aren't comics because I love to grapple. Yeah. Emotionally, gra like that's how my family was. Yeah, that's your comfort zone. That's why I love Roseanne, because yeah. why I wanted to bring it back is that they were like trashing, roasting each other. Yeah. My family roasted each other. Yeah. Constantly. Yeah. Clowning each other's hair, head lice. Yeah, yeah. Fucking all of it. <laughs> head lice. <laughs> what happened to lice? My, dude, head lice, d yeah. Kids what? used to get lice all the time. Dude, like, I every had year, like, pink eye? Had, yeah. Pink eye? Pink eye still exists. Lice. I had head lice. I used to fucking pull bugs out of my hair like in class. Really? Yes. That's gross, dude. Yeah. Nix, remember? No. Rit, R-I-T, Rit and Nix. Those were the um, medicines you'd have to use. I didn't know. I never got it. Do you remember John Roberts? The North Carolina senator or whatever? John Roberts was... He was running for president? Like he had a girl that he was fucking on the side? No. Yes. He got exposed? So John Roberts... This was like the first guy that did YouTube videos. The Christmas tree video. Mm -hmm. You ever seen this? Let me see. Okay, oh. so this guy, did it spell? No. Okay. Should I drink it though? Is there anything with flavor? Is there uh, anything with flavor? Drink it, yeah, that has, it's strawberry. Okay, so this is my favorite video. Mm -hmm. I watch it, I know it all by heart. This was in, what is it, 2004? Mm -hmm. 2004. This guy, John Roberts. What is MCT oil? I just need to know. Uh, you, you're friends with Rogan. You should what, know. What is it? Do it's, we know what that is? It's it's, it's a it's the a, a goji berry. Oh, so I'm good. It's acai berry. That's it. It's like a whatever. I can drink it and it's not anything no, crazy. No, 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 no. Okay, well, I'll keep going. Just start way. shitting immediately. <laughs> go, go. So no, but I want you to really watch this because this is important to me. Okay. This is. Sorry. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. The volume's not on. Um, why not? Mute? It's on mute? Unmute. Mute? Volume? How come I can't play this? Um, Mako, can you help me? What's going on here? Oh, oh, sounds off. Sorry. That's me. Yeah. Okay. Did y'all see that? Alex? Sorry. Mark? What? Make fun of me with the technology stuff? I just, I'm like, my brain is not. Okay, ready? Yeah. See? Yeah, come over now. Hurry up. We're going to get the tree. Come on. Come on. We just got the tree. We just got the tree. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Come on. You got to see it. We just got the tree. You got to see it. Oh, look at that tree. How long is this? If it says tree on it, that's How long ago is this? 2004. So this is, this is, pause. Uh-huh. This is shit moms say. Shit, dad say. Shit, Persians say. This is the precursor. Interesting, yeah. That and they've tried to make a sitcom. They did one with uh, Shatner. But no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. I remember that Twitter account. But what I'm saying is, like, you know how those videos will go viral. Like, uh, what is it? I don't know how to describe it. But like, um, 
things Persian people say, and then mm-hmm, it's all mm-hmm. the things that like stereotypically and that the turned into does. memes. Yeah, like your, Italian. Your mom on Christmas. We're going to get the tree. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's cool to see like the first iteration of that. This is like the first. This is yeah. like the original YouTube, like TikTok. Like this is like yeah. Um, John Roberts. You love this guy. Love. So what happened to him? This is like my um. Mr. Rogers or something. Like, I can't explain it. Mm-hmm. I, I, <clears throat> he's on um, BoJack Horseman now, like, as mm-hmm. a voice. Watch. Come on over. We're going to get the tree. Yeah, come on over now. Playing his mom. Hurry up. We're going to get the tree. Come on. Come on. We just got the tree. We just got the tree. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Come on. You got to see it. We just got the tree. Oh, oh the look at that tree. tree. Hey, if it says tree on it, that means it's decorations. decorations. It needs to come down. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna decorate the tree. Come over. Make it nice around, around the, the tree. tree. Come, Come on, on, make it even. even. Make, make it, it nice. nice. Come on. What's happening right now? Don't turn on the tree. Don't turn it on. Guys, turn it on. Oh. <gasps> oh. Wow. Look at the tree. Oh, look at the tree. <laughs> the of the tree. Are you, you pranking me right now? No, I just want you to watch okay, it. Get away from the tree, please. Could you get away from the tree? This is what's interesting. Okay. So, because I think John Roberts was kind, like you two. So this, look at this. Hey, right, get the hell out of here. So this, when he started doing this, YouTube at whatever this timing is, mm-hmm. that was the cover. Thumbnail. Thumbnail. So he started putting good thumbnails. So he at this smart time code. He would always have Oh, like a eye catching thumbnail. This is thumbnail. before you could personalize thumbnails. Correct. That is brilliant. I know. That is absolutely brilliant. So this is on some Andrew Schultz shit. Whoa. So he knew that mm-hmm. this was gonna get more views than a woman in a wig or a Christmas tree. Oh my God. He found a way to hack yes. the system. So he knew that th- at the time they pulled like whatever at 0.56 seconds. That's brilliant. That's the image they would use as a thumbnail. So he That edited, is fucking brilliant. Edited it accordingly. Cause this makes no sense. But now you're like, okay, Breaking I gotta character. see why this guy is. You know? Interesting. Don't turn on my tree. Because this is out of... That's nobody. It's not. This is breaking character and not as funny as the other stuff. And you've spoken to him about this? I'm trying to have him on next year. Yeah, that's really good. Isn't that wild? That's really smart. So he sort of was the first person to like... Now when we're always trying to like hack the algorithm and get in the algorithm, you know? That's what we did in Netflix. Yeah. We hacked it. Okay. Let me just... Can we just finish it? Yeah. But then I want to tell you what we did. Why isn't the tree on? Come on, turn on the tree, please, for me. Turn on the tree and pick up all that shit. Hey, come on, everyone. We're going to take a picture by the tree. Everyone get in the den. Come on. Hey, what do you mean? Me take a picture by the, the tree. tree. Huh? Get inside, inside right now. now. What's well, Bailey's? Come on. Help me clean up. Got the, the tree, tree, please. Such a mess. mess. Oh, that, that tree. It was a good tree. tree. Oh, next to you. Get that up. Train. So that was 2004. That's great. Really smart, though, to think about that. The way that it's yeah. cut, the way that it's... Yeah. The way that it, like, hits your emotions. Yeah. There's just something interesting about what... It's great. Ahead of his time. Yes. Sometimes what happens is... Um, but I've no. probably given this analogy before, but like, uh, are you familiar with Dogtown and Z-Boys, the skateboarders? I am. There was a movie made about yeah, it. Yeah, they were like the first like real street skateboarders. They were like go to these pools in people's backyards that have been emptied. And yeah, they, yeah, like, yeah. In the there. 70s? Uh, maybe it was the 70s. In, tech, in uh, San Francisco? Or? No, I think it was LA, uh, San Diego. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was LA though, specifically. The What is the thing? The um, Doesn't matter. The point is, they were the first people to do it. But sometimes the first people to do something are not the ones that get all the credit and notoriety. Leif Erickson, Christopher Columbus. Yeah. Perfect. So it's like Tony Hawk, who's like the fucking sweetest guy in the world, came out kind of after them and then blew up. Mm -hmm. And I think most people attribute like this 
meteoric rise to popularity of skateboarding mm-hmm, to like mm-hmm. Tony and not only the video games, mm-hmm. but also just his look. He was I like love how in Rogan you were like, oh, I watched Bill Maher and I was like, oh, I, I can do that better. Yeah, much better. Like I know what to do. Yeah. Like got it. Yeah, yeah. Way better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like not even close. Have you ever spoke to him? No, but I'd tell him. Yeah. It is what it is, bro. You <laughs> can't be great. You know what I mean? Like, but it's like, it is what it is. We're better. And there's four of us. He's probably got a team of 40 people. There's four of us. Yeah. And it's a way better version. I, I love that you say when you um, do press about your show, you say we. It is we. That's fucking sick. All of these. All like the very, cool ideas we come up with. Very few people do that. We. Yeah, well, they shouldn't. Most people say I. I mean, look, I'm sure I've said I. And I'm sure I've taken credit at times, but like I try to say we, when we speak about it as we, we're all, you know, sacrificing for it. We're all doing it together. I mean, but that's really, it's really. But also like in my stuff, like everybody has a piece. Mm -hmm. Like nobody just works for me. Mm -hmm. Like everybody has a piece of it. They have like own some equity, even if it's little, they own something. So it's like everybody has skin in the game. Yeah. And like, uh, I don't know. That's how I want it to work. But it's Maybe that's um, from playing sports. Maybe, but also I just think it's like the nice, I think it's, it's the right like thing to right do. It's like the right thing to do. It also makes the show better. That's what It makes the thing. show better, but also it's just like. When people are like, yeah. uh, hire women, hire people of color. Not because you have to. It's just going to make it better. Honestly. That's, that's the only reason I do it. Real real talk, if you want the best argument for that, a hundred percent, like our writing staff was like, and just in general, like it's super diverse. We never tried once. It just mm-hmm. happens to be. Mm-hmm. But what ends up happening is the jokes become nuanced because of it. And you see things you wouldn't have seen, mistakes you would have made, mm-hmm. because there's someone there who knows. Fresh eyes. And then all of a sudden, we we had this joke. We were in in the special about uh, it was like the uh, body positivity movement or something like that, like about people abusing the body positivity movement. And then uh, we said these uh, these big body jihadis came out of nowhere and started yeah. screaming a la snack bar, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> and uh, there's a cupcake, right? And there is. Arabic writing that looks kind of like the ISIS flag writing right. on a black cupcake, one of those hostess cupcakes. And the Arabic writing says, uh, have a great day. Mm-hmm. But you think it's the ISIS flag, right? But then people who actually speak Arabic go, oh shit, I can read that. Go, it's have a, And go. that would only happen because we had a kid who's Muslim yeah. on the show and he's yeah. like, yo, we should make sure we don't use the ISIS flag, but why don't we put something in there? Yeah. It's kind of cute. So I'm not like this like crusader for like, make sure your staff is diverse. Like if you're a reasonable guy that like has curiosity about people's opinions, you will gravitate to those people. Mm -hmm. But also at least in our situation. A lot of people just want to surround themselves with people that agree with them. And it makes them uh, mediocre. I get that. And I do. I do get that. But like. I don't at all. No, I get why people do it. I don't fuck with anybody. that Everybody that I fights me. I get what I'm saying is I'm not surprised that people do it, Mm -hmm. but I do think that like, I think the crux for all of us, the reason like why we kind of all connected and why it's been successful for us is like all of us have kind of felt a bit like uh, outsiders within our communities, like kind of like watching in. Does that make sense? Yes. So like we could fit in, Mm -hmm. but we were always kind of like observing it at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think a lot of comics are like that. So naturally, we are all coming from these different walks of life, but we all kind of relate to this like way of kind of like observing the things around us while they're happening. I used to obsess over, like I remember as a kid, I I would work on a typewriter in my aunt's basement. Now mm-hmm. I turn the volume on, uh, my aunt's basement in um, Virginia, and I would like get obsessed with what things are named, you know, like jumbo shrimp aren't shrimp small like i would get like obsessed with like little things that didn't make sense to me yeah you know there's this girl on our podcast taylor and uh she said the other day she goes uh she was like i don't know sometimes just stuff doesn't make sense to me and i'm like what do you mean and she goes like why is it called a building shouldn't it be called a built <laughs> and, and you know, we were dying because it sounds like it's it sounds like it's stupid, but at the same time you start going like, wait, wait, yeah. That's some shit finished. I would get I would get hung up on. Yeah, yeah. I would get hung up on shit like yeah. that, you know, and like uh, the like etiology of stuff I didn't like. You think people really take the, all the credit themselves? I think a lot of people uh, are into that shit. Yeah. 
I don't know. I just feel like I can't do it without them. So it'd be weird for me to no, take the credit. No, because you, you're not a malignant narcissist. And but I assume if there is somebody out there who's taking all the credit, they feel like they can do it without them. I just don't think I can. Yeah. So like for me, I would feel like a fraud if I did. Yeah. Does that make but sense? You, yeah, but a lot of people are fine being frauds. Yeah. But I also think that like... Whatever it takes. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like in, if the level of greatness that I want to achieve... Like I could never yeah. do... A, a, like, yeah, I just could never, like, whenever I say something like, um, Annie Letterman did, she fucking killed me so hard <laughs> the other say? day. <laughs> this bitch, I was wearing like a, um, like a nude bra and I was showing her my thing. Yeah. And I hold up and she goes, where did you get that bra? The Holocaust Museum? <laughs> 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 it was so fucking funny. And it just was like. Every time I say it, I'm like, Andy Letterman said that, like, I have to give credit. Like, I just yeah. can't, I would never, it like, gets, I don't know. There's like an honor. There's a, there's a, a you feel dirty, you feel gross. I don't know. I, I also understand that, like, I'm the face of it. So I'm yeah. going to get the most credit. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, like, yeah. If I have the opportunity mm -hmm. to, like, it just feels let better. people know. It's selfish. I would imagine if I was in their situation that I, it'd be cool to hear. Yeah, you're one you of know. the good ones, though. I don't know if that makes me good, There's people per se. who... There's people in this business who say they're directing specials and then someone else directs them and mm. does not get credit on the screen. Yeah. yeah. There's people who say they wrote books. And to they, be fair, they did Alex not. didn't direct it. He's just black and we needed a black guy. Love. So. <laughs> Love. <laughs> nah, Throw him a bone. <laughs> Throw him a bone. I know you wanted the least qualified person Bro, to, to direct your special. I've told this story a million times, but like, is even on like Rogan, but like uh, it, the, we've just invested in competence. And when, when I say we, like that's just the people that we gravitate to and the people that we like continue to like keep on board. Mm -hmm. But like Al has never directed anything that is that is on a streaming network or anything. Even like that. better. Yeah, I know. Even better because you're not yeah. gonna be stuck in patterns and bad habits from other things, and you're not. He didn't know how to use Premiere. Great, even better. This kid was in college a Great. year ago. Love it. Love it. He was in a fraternity Benton parties. Benton worked at Sephora. <laughs> <laughs> a little different their responsibilities, but still. I mean, you know? No, it's perfect. <laughs> You've worked in... Benton's dad was handicapped and had to take care of him all the time. Like, Ben... Like, yeah, so that's what you... You pick somebody that was like, okay, if you could take care of a handicapped person, you, you can could take care of me. <laughs> that's brilliant. You understand HR and hiring. That's what you understand. <laughs> I can I I know a winner when I see one. Hundred percent. No, I'll be honest, and I'm not saying this to like toot my own horn, but like you saw it in me before anybody I, in the industry. Hundred percent. That I I am bad at so many things, but knowing who's going to be at Crystalia, yeah. I, like knowing who's going to make it yep. is like Beanie Feldstein. That is my thing. Yeah, I I would say uh, me too. Like I can tell if people got it or they don't, and I can tell like exactly what they're missing. Mm -hmm. I can be like, yo, you're great. I know Benton thinks I should be a manager, but then yeah, I know. I don't want anything from people. That's the other thing. That, like, that's the other. Yeah, that's I do it for free. Like I do it. I'll just let me yeah. just. I'd rather just help you for free. There's this weird thing where like people, are like, yeah, you should like sign all these podcasts and stuff like that. I was like, I don't want to own anybody. Yeah, shit. I, I just like, don't want more emails. I don't even want to own my shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, yeah. I'm just like, I'm guys, do you want to own something? I just like, like want to have a fucking blast. <laughs> yeah, let's have fun. We can all get rich. We're really good at this. I think we are the best at this mm -hmm. because we were doing it with nobody and mm -hmm. we managed to like kind of change the way people put out content. Like you, we really did. Do you think you're going to ever sell it? Sell what? Your podcast. No, maybe. I don't know. If like, I do, sure. If not right now, I'm not thinking about it. If Spotify came to you, yeah. I don't know. I mean, like that deal would have to be like so far the, down the line. Yeah, like, yeah. what it is. Like, but it's I, the new I syndication, really. But yeah, like I, I just think like let's have fun. Let's create cool things. I demand a lot from myself and obviously from them, but at the same time, like, let's enjoy it. Like, mm -hmm. they're here with me just because, like, yo, we should celebrate this. Let's go. Let's mm -hmm. go meet fucking Rogan. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Let's go watch Chappelle and Rogan do stand-up. Mm -hmm. Let's have some fun. I, this, this is how I think you should Who should operate. I have on uh, my podcast? How In am life. I doing? Give me notes. You're great. You don't need notes from me. You have an incredibly successful podcast. Are you having fun doing it? I have to have fun doing everything me too. I do. I don't have any. I say no to people that I know would do huge numbers, but I'm just like, I don't have anything to say to you. I'd rather yeah. have you on again or fucking. We rarely, we rarely have guests because our yeah. thing is just like, it's kind of just a hang. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. We're not against guests, but we don't want to be dependent on guests. I was going to do your podcast when we were in New York. Yeah, remember? I know, but then you leave. 
I know. But I want you to be like you. I would have on because you're part of the hang. Yeah. But having random people on, like just to interview them, to me that would be like a different project. We want to have people on. They're like part of our kind of you know family. circle tribe, family tribe, exactly. Tribe, like tribe. we want people to get this it. This is what I was gonna say. And I forgot to oh say. Oh my it. god! Do you remember when she walked? Who did she rip? Effe. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe I didn't tell this story. <laughs> oh, dude, Whitney is the biggest bully. Where's the camera? She I'm is the biggest bully I've ever <laughs> seen in my entire fucking life, dude. She walked into the studio in heeled sneakers, mind you. Nobody <laughs> he has, threw out the window. Nobody's mind had you. this much confidence Benton, in heeled sneakers. Benton had to bring me new shoes. Comes into this writing session, <laughs> right? The four of us have been writing nonstop. Uh -huh. We're fucking killing it. Everything's uh -huh. good. Comes into the writing session. In a horse jacket. In a horse jacket and heeled shoes. Takes the whiteboard wipes it down with her hand like can we get some organization over here someone cast it onto the tv his computer is too little i want to look and then we have this one guy named effe Love who it. is uh he has like a little like it looks like um soot on his forehead <laughs> but it's not soot yeah. it's just how his skin looks yeah, yeah you know what i mean yeah, and he's okay. a muslim dude so people assume it's from prayer uh -huh. but it's not it's just what is it a birthmark i don't know it's just soot <laughs> yeah yeah and uh whitney walks up to him it's a skin thing. Whitney walks up to him and he she, she goes, uh, she goes, hey, how'd you get here? Through a chimney? <laughs> I couldn't fucking believe it. I couldn't believe And then just pounds away. Dude, she was relentless. It was like a real alpha fucking thing. It was like, I'm going to let you know. I've been in writer's rooms before. This is how the fuck it goes. Pay attention, everybody. It was a real alpha move. That was on some West Virginia Roast. How, how'd you get here? Through a chimney? <laughs> Who is this guy? I think there was a couple like Santa Claus jokes. Yeah. Yeah. I think there was like a couple. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was brutal. It took him like a week to recover. Yeah, from was that. he okay? 100%. He was is praying he, and shit. Okay? Was, uh, I know. Yeah, he lost 20 pounds. After I think that. he should sue me. He should. When am I toxic? Am I going to. That was. You were toxic in that moment. I loved every <laughs> second of I it. I mean, like, am. Why, like a man could never do that to a woman? No, we couldn't. But dude, I have oh guys on God. here, and I fucking objectify them the yeah. entire time. Yeah, but that's fine. That's cool. Like Lex Freeman, it doesn't came have on to here. be equal. It doesn't have to be. Yeah, we just get to be superior now. I'm a, not. Yeah, if you want, if For that's now. what you think is superior, For that's now. fine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just like whatever. You can make fun of us. You can make fun of our physical By the way, features. I, but come at me. Like, do you know what I'm saying? It's, I did. It's also, I call, it it's also my head. way of saying like your hair. I talked about Looks your hair. Fucking amazing. It is what it is. You know what I mean. You know what? You should be in an aquarium. You, <laughs> you love it be. because it makes you less attracted to me, so that you won't fall in love with me and ruin your perfect ruin soulmate. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Otherwise, thank you, dude. Uh, Thanks for doing it for me, bro. Otherwise. You'd be in love with me. I'm doing this for our friendship. Thank you. I, I'm doing I appreciate this for your sacrifice. The male comics. So, can I tell you something? Yeah. It's fucking when you dye your hair blue, people stop calling you for advice. Do they? I get so many calls for like, hey, what should I do about that? Yeah. Like, I, you're changing everything. You're like renovating your whole home. Like yep. everything's a renovation. It's like, what's the, happening? It's here? Called the Great Reorganization. Gotcha. We call it a midlife guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we. You call think you think I'm gonna live that long? <laughs> <laughs> it's end of life. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill myself next year. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I'm gonna, dude. I came in today. I came in today, and there's fucking like plastic all over this place. Mm -hmm. Like it's just being rented. The whole thing's renovated. Mm -hmm. And then she starts giving me the tour, but like, no, you don't give a tour of something that's not done, <laughs> right? Like she's walking me around, I'm describing. Telling you it's, gonna the be, it's called vision. Yeah, yeah. But like, we could do that from the living Isn't room. That your thing, vision. Yeah, but we could do it from the living could room. You burn one calorie. She goes. She goes. She goes. Yeah, this is gonna be open Tuscany. That means nothing to me. What, what the fuck does saying Tuscany mean? This, this is going to be open. Think Tuscany. What does that mean to me? I've I'm never been to Tuscany. I'm giving you the, the, the top line. No, some fucking landscaper said, we're going to make a Tuscany. And you're like, I don't know what that means, but I'm repeating that shit. I'm repeating <laughs> no, that's, that to everybody how about this? else. How about this, bitch? How about that's what I said to my landscaper? I was like, I want to feel Tuscany, Spanish <laughs> rehab in the 70s. I want this to feel like West Virginia. And she had to fucking execute. Mm. You hired a she. Yes, I did. Whoa, yes, I, I like did. that. Yes. I like that. Yes, I did. Details, attention to detail, hypervigilant, perfectionism, insecurity, um, knows how to manage a lot of things, 
mothers, hire mothers. They know how to fucking do a lot of shit at once. Mm. Handle people. Are you hungry? You need some water? Women are very good bosses because they know how to like read faces. I made a movie about it. I made a movie about it. Andrew's in it. And I have a call and I have a Zoom Q&A. Right now. About the female brain at 5 p.m. <laughs> 15 minutes. Oh my God. Okay. All right. People yeah. still want me to talk about this movie. Because it's a great movie. I mean, I feel like all I did was compromise, but I got to. Compromise. I got to like, yeah. I mean, I had, it was, we made it for very little money. You saw me. Yeah. I, I had to do most of the stuff in post. I did. It was a, you know. I don't know. I thought it, I don't know. It's big. People money, love it. Money. People love it. Yeah. That's all that matters. Who cares? We'll make a movie one day. Not yet, but we we'll make should. Them. But it would be like a. Um... I already know what it is. Okay. It's it's Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> you were gonna say that. It's Ocean's Eleven or Twelve or Thirteen, but it's that vibe. It's just misfits coming together. They're all friends, but are all unique and different. And then you're just. It's an excuse to be around this hangout. It's essentially a podcast, and it's improvised. It's pseudo improvised. Yeah. But it's like it's really just bouncing our personalities off of each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the mo and like. What it's I like yeah. you know because I think we're the new friends. No, it's not friends. We're the Rat Pack. Oh, Fuck friends. shit! It's the Rat Pack. That's what Literally, it is. Literally, Theo. <laughs> he was great today. He's so funny, man. It's ridiculous. He's funny. so funny, that guy. He's yeah. He's so he's just funny. like on a different planet. <laughs> he's so he funny. hates fucking when I tell the story, and okay. every time I tell it, he's like, "You fucking tell the story all the time." Dude, I saw him in an airport. You know when you see a comic in an airport at like 5 a.m.? You're just like, uh, You're just like, what's yeah, up, dude? Yeah, yeah. Even if you like don't fuck with each other, you're you like, what's up? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. we were in like making a connection in like, yeah. you know, Tulsa or some shit. Yeah. I saw him at like 6 a.m. And we're sitting, we're the only people in the fucking, um, what is it? I haven't been to an airport until so a gate. Yeah. And there's the chairs and he's behind me. <laughs> Isn't it the gate? <laughs> the gate? What gate? What <laughs> yeah, gate yeah, are we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what it is? And uh, he's like behind me, you know how the chairs are back to back. And I look over and I see Theo Vaughn. Like, I'm like, yo, dude. He's like, yo. And there's a TV in the corner playing VH1. It's like VH1, like- Best week ever. Best week ever. Yeah. I was on that. I know. And uh, Theo Vaughn, I just go, hey, what's up? And he looks up and he goes, VH1. Talk about a network without a game plan. <laughs> <laughs> He like, didn't say didn't say hi or anything. It was like, like no, nothing. <laughs> Six a.m. Network without a game plan. Like it was just such a why. I was just like, Dude. your brain is just a different brain. Today he said, uh, "Yeah, you ever have one of your friends, uh, you know, uh, try to do a piggyback from the front?" <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, what? Oh. <laughs> Think about it. Instead of the piggyback, you're facing each other. <laughs> and he goes, "Yeah, just lean your head on my shoulder. I'll take it from here." <laughs> Dude, he the other day he said something about he's like he's like um there was that thing. It was like um uh uh of a, a food with a, a bunch of salt on it that mm -hmm. made a little squiggly square a pretzel. Like it was something, <laughs> it was, I'm not even doing it good enough. Like, but it was something, so it was like a braided thing with some salt, yeah. a pretzel. Like it was just, his mind is wild. Yeah. And it's authentic. I think that's something that like people don't realize that like when they just see a short little bit of it, they're like, oh, he's doing shtick. Mm -hmm. that's, no, that's how no, he, he is. No, he 24 seven. Yeah. yeah when it's real. I remember, um, uh, I love like working on jokes with like in the, um, lobby no the parking lot of the comedy store mm -hmm. we're like fucking around with uh, he said he wore <laughs> to a funeral he had to go to a funeral <laughs> he wore a costume the bit where he wore a costume yeah. and i was like yeah dude you went to spencer's gifts and it was yeah. like i had a knife in the back yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and i was like little spiders coming out of the pocket and shit <laughs> no beetlejuice he wore the beetlejuice <laughs> right. outfit. Yeah, yeah like we were like like nothing is better than working on jokes mm -hmm. with comics that was yeah that's what was most fun about this whole, you know, the show is just busting balls and like figuring out funny things to say. When are you leaving? Um, well, we're gonna go away. So my uh, fiance is from a little bit north of here, mm -hmm. and uh, so we're gonna spend some time there, and then we're gonna go to Hawaii together. Nice. Yeah, Lanai. Have you ever been to the I island have of Lanai? The, yes, I yeah. you know that Lanai was where it's the pineapple. Yeah. Um, who was the guy? Murdoch. Mur nope. Mm -mm. Annapurna, oh. Annapurna. Oh, uh, Ellison. El Larry Ellison. Uh, Larry bought Larry it. Bought it from Murdoch. 
Yes. Mm. And I have been there to that Four Seasons, Lanai. And good? They have parrots. They have the whole thing. Oh, I went so there right after we wrapped the parrots, female brain babe. with um, Joel Silver. Don't do that. <laughs> with Joel Silver, I went um, right after uh, we shot the female brain. Mm -hmm. And I was like in recovering from all that shit. Yeah, that's basically what this trip is about. We need a little time to recover. Yeah. Phones off. Phones off. Phones you. Off. Phones off. You. What's the last big fight you had? Honestly, it's been a while. Yeah, big one has been a while. Over how shitty the proposal was? <laughs> I thought it was good. I thought it was good. Why do you think it was bad? Because oh, my, idea was, so, my idea was so much oh, better. This is what no, she told me. In my sleep. Yeah, yeah, like putting the ring on your finger in your sleep. No. No. What if you woke up and had the ring on your finger and were like, just saw it? No. Yeah, the other pitch I was. I feel like people do that. Huh? Oh, she called your shit hack. She called your shit hack. Hack. Stop trying to Seen put it. Each other. I <laughs> she love, tried to put me against it. you. I love Whitney. Seen it, by the way. She's like, <laughs> she all, your all shit you're doing <laughs> already been done. Been done. Walker did it. <laughs> Who did that? Anthony did it. Really? Yeah. Uh, what about what about um? But it the, didn't that's fit. That's because he's less. Ah! No, <laughs> that's funny. But is it also because he's Latino? He doesn't take no for an answer. I like you and. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say also my other pitch was. Yeah, what were you photo gonna say? I know I I, I, I <laughs> like stalled. Me and what? You know that I know I was gonna say Netflix. I was gonna do that, but then it was yeah, like yeah. we had already done that joke, and I just my you know the spinning wheel on your computer yeah. when it rebuffers stream. Yeah, if you watched our special, you would see that. Yeah, no, I. Our special, you. It's our special. Our special. Yeah. So I, the other pitch was in a photo booth, and you do a photo booth and ask her in the first. Oh, that's cute. You in know the what? First photo. You know what, what an asshole she is? What? She never said that to me. Oh, she... This You're making this up right now. I thought I pitched it to you. No, you didn't. You pitched it to somebody else, probably. No, I yeah, probably did. didn't send because you have you a Samsung or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> you got that green bubble. Bro, I'm trying to link up with Tim Dillon. Two texts went to green. Mm -hmm. Put the phone down. You don't want this that bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Ben. Ben is Ben is Samsung. I got him off it. Okay, Tim, good. Tim is where, Tim's. Uh, there was no service or something. He's I think ten there was minutes no from service. here. He's there ten minutes no from service. here. I decorate his tree. Go to his uh, house. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, sh do you want? You literally go there now. He's ten tomorrow, minutes away. Tomorrow we're gonna. Okay. Um, I love you. Love you too. Thank you so much for having us. Don't you know this is the first time that she's ever been on a podcast? Love you too. I just I'm obsessed with you. <laughs> I knew you guys were gonna. Get I feel along. like we're gonna like have babies at the same time. I feel like we're gonna be like. You're gonna have I'm your. I'm gonna little... breastfeed your children. Yeah. You're gonna <laughs> breastfeed my surrogate children. Nope. <laughs> you're gonna like. I'm gonna take some of your eggs. I'm gonna put some of my eggs. Like you're gonna be my surrogate. Like I feel like we're gonna have some fucked up. We're gonna. I'll see you in court. She's a parasite, dude. She's like slowly moving her way. Like I'll see you in court. Whitney, thank you so much for having me. You I love you. you. I love you too, but you have to have your call. Yeah, I know. Bye. Bye. Is this too long? What's what's too long for a podcast? You do whatever you want with it. Don't ride elephants. <laughs>